You all good? No. Something wrong with Theo today? No. Was, <laughs> do we have a happy Theo today? I don't know what I am yet. An ambiguous kind of guy? Yeah. Damn, Tell me something, girl. God, you could Live from the podcast. Are you happy in the Need to wake up my eyes and shut. Yo. Rabbits, man. Oh shit, Theo didn't get a shot glass. Oh shit, let me get a shot glass. Love, love, welcome to love and then what? Love and then what? Welcome lovers and friends. It's your boy, Mr. Everybody. Joined today by my co-host. You already know, Theo Doce. And we are joined today by coming straight out of Glock Aware Radio. County Kravitz, a musician and radio host of the number one morning show on the East Coast. The CMA Morning Show. How you doing, County? Yeah, I'm here, man. I'm happy to be here. Oh, yeah. Excited. Let's, let's start this off with a shot. Some honey, bro. Oh. Ooh. All right, that's that's good. Jesus. Well, I'm not driving. I mean, Ash is now working yeah, regular I mean, shifts, so I'm off every it, every weekend. I'm not driving, so I can be as fucked up as I want to be. Love you, babe. Mm. Damn. Shout that's fucking out. tastes like maple syrup. Shout Should out. be a sponsor. Shout out my homie Black Stan. This is his drink <laughs> of choice. <laughs> Is this the one you like though? I'm a, I'm a henny guy. Cognac I was guy. a heavy henny guy. I mean, guy. I'm cool off the henny now, man. So you got me into henny. I can't get off it now. Yeah, I'm yeah, done. See? I'm done. I'm getting too old for the shit. Like when me and Ash <laughs> go out now, we get henny. I used see? to be Captain or Jack. I'm you know, the, the white guy drinks, right? right? I ain't gonna lie. I wonder how y'all nice it is now. You know what I'm saying? It, when, we, like, when we went out, <laughs> crazy now. <laughs> when we went out in Baltimore, henny is completely different. Like it. It does different things than like yeah exactly. <laughs> it does different. <laughs> every does. like tequila and henny are the two drinks that I never really drank. I never even. I never had henny definitely before the show started. Mm. Tequila, you're welcome. you're welcome. Yeah, how about that? Now, like if we yeah. go out to like That's a crazy man. oop right there, yeah, crazy John. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Weed the brine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's one of them type oops. That is. That's it's a big oop. oop. So, <laughs> <laughs> what's what does CME Morning Show stand for? Uh, the Chris Mack Experience. So, is that your government? Yeah, it's like my alias. Okay. That's my other alias. So, why do they call you County Crab? Is you from Delaware County or? Uh, I'm from Montgomery County. Okay. So okay. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Know Willow that. Grove. Um, I went to Abington High School. Okay. You know okay. What I'm saying? So, you know, um, that's where the county comes from. I do a lot of, used to do a lot of deliveries out there. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, you know the oh, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. chill. Yeah. So, tell people like, about, like, your morning show. They've never... Heard it. Um, yeah, so the CME Morning Show, I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, on Glockaway Radio. We live on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Anything that got a live, we on it. Yo, I'm jealous of you guys over there. You guys got to play music and stuff. Yeah. I will, I'm trying to introduce more music into the show because obviously Theo is a musician. A lot of the guests we have are musicians. Right. I'm I love Hold music. It down so for the musicians, you know what I'm saying? The artists. Exactly. I mean, all you up and coming creatives, I got you. All the time I want to play music, but I can't. Like every time, like if if someone's like, "You never heard this song," they play it. I either have to mute it or I like I can never get reimbursed for that episode because it's just. Uh. So wait, so 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 so. That's why you don't put it out, just because of if it starts to make some money, they can take it down. I try not to put videos. So say like in a year from now, tomorrow we should be right. fucking famous, and we start to get money for our episodes, right, on YouTube or whatever. If we have that hit, we can't ever get paid for it. So we would just have to mute whatever music's played. So if I want to hear a DMX song right now, which I always do, mm-hmm. can't play it. But like, say you play, you played a song so, on your phone the other day, and it hits, it goes up right away and says, "Hey, you know this, you can't get paid for this copyright yeah, infringement." That's the word. So, so I'm saying, will they keep the video up there though? Right? The video will stay up, but I, would, I ain't gonna lie. We can never monetize music, the video. How my mind, how my mindset work is, uh, just that one video or whatever. I ain't tripping off of it until I get to that point. Yeah, but it's the full episode that can never be monetized. But that's why I do the highlights and everything, so those can be monetized. But it's some bullshit. But mm-hmm. TikTok, I figure out a way around it. Dude, TikTok's a bitch. Yeah, I can I, never I, fuck I, you. I'll be really on that tip. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And until yeah, they come get me, thanks. you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You know what I mean? Play the loopholes. I got to get there. You know what I mean? They got to know your name yeah. somehow, some way. So. Right. So, did, so if you guys don't know, Glock Aware Radio is where Sammy's from. Sip with Sammy. He came on here with Kay. He came on here with Sa. He had two episodes. Glockaway Radio out of Philly. 
Thanks. That's where you're from. Did Sammy tell you anything before you came here about no. the show? No. Did you tell no. him that you were doing no. it? No. No. No, I didn't tell nobody. Nah. I actually, no, I told I told my homie um, hey, in North Carolina yeah, so that I was going to see this shit. <laughs> because I was actually supposed to be in Miami this weekend. Okay. And I was okay. like, no, I'm not going because I wanted to be here. Hey, look. So, you, know I mean? you turned down Miami for us? No, you yeah. turned down for Miami for me, man. You know what I'm no, no, I want to go with. It was for, it's for both of you guys. No, I'm like the then. But who's who's better? Who's me? better? What? He's wearing pink right now. Look at Damn it, I, I... You are pink. <laughs> so, yeah, so you guys are both the same. Just We're out. equal. <laughs> We're equal yeah, on equal yeah, footing. That's my guy. That's my fucking yeah. bro. No, I, lo- I, lo- I love this show. I love this show. I've been watching it for a while, so... Yeah. Appreciate that, man. I told my homegirl down North Carolina, and she texted me this morning. She was like, are you ready? I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm about to go to work now. So that hey, way I can be work. there. So, you know. I'm, I'm you know. so excited for this episode, by the way. And yeah. I got some shit planned. But, uh, oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> I always got some shit playing. I don't come in here at all. I be, I be cold turkey. Time, bro. <laughs> Theo comes in cold turkey. Not yeah, cold turkey. Like, I don't know what you would categorize it. But he, how, he just my co-host chef. That's how. That's how this co- dynamic is. Co-hosts are always just. Yeah. I always say, hey, if you ever want me to co-host anything, I'll do it. I'll just show up. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all you gotta do. Show up, yeah. you know, and then you pick up where you pick up at. That's you, you let facts. it flow, and then <laughs> later on in the show, I'm gonna pick up heavy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pick up the slack, you know. I ain't, I ain't tripping. You say, got something? Oh. So, how did you get into uh, radio? Sipping with Sammy. Mm. So, you went there for what? As a musician? Um, no, I was. I was the. So, the Chris Mack experience was actually uh, is actually a brand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As well as like my previous alias. So, I used to just travel and meet people and film it. And so, you were like a travel experience. show on YouTube kind of thing. Um. I guess you could say that. I had a car talk <coughs> show, so I used to drive, pick up artists in, a car, in my car, and used to drive them around and do interviews in my car. Before or after James Corden? Um, it was before him. This is before You were before people. James yeah, Corden. I was, doing, I was doing, like, the car talk with Chris Mack back since 2016, 15. Okay, yeah, you got you got yeah. that down then. So a lot of this stuff, you know, I see now, it's like, oh, that's, that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. But um, I ran into Sammy at an interview mm. um, on Take it to the streets TV. I believe that's what it was. Okay. I might be wrong. But I ran into Sammy and met him for the first time. He was like, yo, I got a show on Glock Aware. You should come down. So I came down on a fly day. It was crazy. I've been trying to get there. I cannot yeah, I mean, get you there. You have to come down I, I on a fly day. I was this close to coming there one day yeah, it's crazy. that I had like my that, nieces. Get Come to a fly day. You'll be like, what's bro, the, bro, you'll start what's the calling out of work on Fly Day. Tell everyone what a Fly Day is. Yeah. First. Right, so fly Day is Fly Day is Friday. Okay, you know what I'm saying in layman's terms. You know what I'm saying. So, fr- Fly Day is it starts off with the CME Morning Show. You know what I'm saying. We're mm-hmm. lit. We turned up. We always have special guests. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always something crazy going on just to start the morning off. Okay. Then yeah, we got DJ Wax Spinner on the ones and twos from twelve to one. He's doing his thing. He might bring out an old school mix. He might do a new school mix. Mm. You don't know what he's going to He might decide to do all indie artists. You never know what he's going to do. He might blend it all together. So you never know what he's going to do. Then we got an hour break, you know what I'm saying, where we just spend the music mm-hmm. nonstop. Indie artists, yeah. mainstream artists, doesn't yeah. matter who you are, we're going to play your music. And then at 2 o'clock, we got Uptown Mulu. So we hold so by two bars. o'clock, y'all, y'all lit. By two o'clock, I'm, by two <laughs> o'clock, everybody's waking back up. So this is starting. So this show starts at nine a.m. Correct? Yes. This is everyone gets there at what time do they get there at? Um. So it's like waves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. I, so I can see that happening. We'll get a wave of people from. I'll get there about eight forty-five, nine o'clock, and then people start coming in like nine thirty, nine forty-five. Mm. Stay till eleven. They may, we may all go out to eat somewhere, dip off, whatever the case may be, come back, 2 o'clock, Mulu's on with the hardest bars. So now it's like real rap, it's real gritty, mm. but it's fun. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. that's who she is. You know what I'm saying? And then 3 o'clock, you got the Fly Girls Friday. So you got Sunny Brig, you got Pauly Baby, you got K. You know what I'm saying? Sammy mm. and them start to pull up. That wave starts to pull up. The happy hour pull up. Mm-hmm. And then 4 o'clock, it's Fly Boys Friday. And you you never know who's going to drop through Flyboy. It might be somebody you ain't seen in six months mm-hmm. that was off for work finally. And he was like, you know what? I got time to pull up. Mm-hmm. Or it might be a celebrity. It might be somebody that's important. Somebody you really need to connect with. Mm-hmm. Or it might be just somebody like myself, County mm-hmm. Kravitz, who just in the building good energy. You know what I'm saying? You want to be around good energy. 
And then mm. after that, we got uh, Philly Uncut with EA. You know what I'm saying? So you get real, 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 real uh, 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 out there. You know what I'm saying? He's right. got different people that's coming in. That wave is a different wave. It's so more, this is all like Glockaware. This is all like Glockaware all day. Man, that shit popping all day. So you're dr- are you drunk every oh, Friday? Wait. It's a it's it's over. By, How are you this skinny? I can't stand people that can be skinny. Uh, uh, it's not fair. Yeah, Sammy's the same way. Yeah, Sammy's the same the exact way. He's skinny too. Nine thirty by nine thirty a.m. I'm I'm. <laughs> what are you <laughs> drinking late. to start your day with on a Friday? Henny. Henny. Henny in the yeah. morning. Yeah, first thing in the morning. Yeah, that shit different, man. When, once you in the Henny wave, like it's like a once you get caught in the culture yeah. of it, it, it becomes a thing, man. Before I get there, I have a, a hot toddy, so I have a, a hot tea and then double shot of uh, Henny. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I was on, on your joint, that's <laughs> yeah. what I came in with. I was Facts, you had, you had was, a hot toddy when yeah, you came it, in. It was some, it was so some, Jesus, bro, some Henny. It's so um, who? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how do you get to this radio station? Um, I drive, <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets a taxi every time. Don't worry. No, I don't. I don't leave. You don't, you like, stay there. I like for the most part. Yeah, like afterwards, we'll carpool. We might go. We might go out. Ch- come out Chester. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And we'll go to Humdiggities. Okay. You know what I'm saying. We'll all get some food. It'd be like fifteen, twenty of us getting some food. Mm-hmm. Is um, that that new spot they just opened out here? Yeah, in it's, Chester. A marketplace. it's like a little market yep. spot. Yo, my man. You got it. Yo, I was in here the other day, and I was like, I'm hungry. He was like, Yo, you want something from here? But he was in. It's like it's in Chester, and the he's most, just showing me all these different joints in there. The best food, That's dope as shit. Though. The best food you will ever taste. That's dope. Is it all black owned or something? It is. Yeah, it's black owned. Um, they're dope. actually gonna be on the show tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, yeah. They bring yeah, the food heavy. and stuff like that. So Are they bring your food. Yeah, so we're gonna what be talking about. We need to get some restaurants on. Whoever sells fried chicken in the immediate area. Theo would love Just to have fried. Him up, have a spread. Yeah, man. Have you have noticed spread, that man. in the past like twenty episodes, Theo has had fried chicken every oh, time? I got chicken over there. Wow, I just didn't bring it. Very, I got here early. That's today. a good trivia question. You know what I'm saying? I get here every day. And he, oh my god, yes it is. Damn, it's a great. Trivia Edit this question. shit out. Don't put this shit in. It's a great trivia question. That's the b- real shit. Merch what do you mean? The tri- like, how would you? Ah, merch giver, this dude. <laughs> this dude. Wait, what is the, what, how would we pose the question? What does Theo eat every what Sunday? Is the, what, what is the food of? What is, what, what is the choice? Or no, what is love and then what food of choice? It, it could be yeah. something of that. You know what I'm saying? Where you're okay. like, what, what food do you see the most on? And then yep. people really going to have to be like, go back and watch. Yeah. Uh, I think we've only put it up. I think I've only posted like one picture. You know what, of it, man? We're going to talk, man. Cause, <laughs> talk, talk, that's what we got to piss some shit together, man. Yeah, so we can I have do, this man. shit lit. So how long have you been at uh, Glockaware with the CME Morning Show? Um, we just had our three-year anniversary, uh, January 31st of this year. So, so Today's um, after my birthday. Yeah, so Damn. it's very special. You mean a special day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Happy birthday, so okay. January 31st. So how did you go from a guest on Tip with Sammy to actually like starting the show? Did he After the episode, did he just come to you and say, um, a- after after we did that first interview at Take It to the Streets TV, um, he came to me after he told me to pull up. I pulled up. I had a great time. He was like, "Yo, you know what I'm saying? You 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 want to you, whatever you're doing, it make you're doing it the right way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you're doing, because he really nobody really understood what it is I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was just literally on plane from plane, like mm-hmm. going everywhere, just flying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in the middle of the pandemic, like this, nobody's outside. No, I was the only like flying, flying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, he's like, whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. Um, you're always welcome to pull up. You know what I'm saying? He just opened the door to me. Yeah. And he was like, here go my number. You know what I'm saying? You got any questions, anything like that? Any guidance you need? Just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I just came every <laughs> every fly day after that. I was just there. Every right. fly day. Every fly day. I made it my mm-hmm. business to be there at 4 o'clock. You know what I'm okay. saying? To start happy hour to... Just be around that energy. Mm-hmm. And then um, probably like two months in, um, I was like, yo, you know, I went went to Sammy and I was like, yo, I think I want to do a show. I just don't know how I want to do it yet. Mm-hmm. So when I figure it out, I'm going to come to you. And then like a month later, I was like, I'm going to do a morning show and um, I'm going to go three days a week. You know what I'm saying? So then I. That's yeah. heavy. Yeah, he keep telling me to pull up. Yeah. Every week. So he went three days a week. He never said that to me. Sammy, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You don't do what we do, man. What? Yeah. Well, I was the first white guy on his show ever. Yeah, no, that's dope. That's and I was the first white guy on whose show, <laughs> whose show was I just on? Uh, Stormies. Stormies. I have a yeah. question. I have a question. I have a question for you, right? Can I be the first white guy on your show? Sure. No, I, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> no, I've had, I've had no, multiple white people on my had show. You've had, You've had all the white people, you multiple. motherfucker. I have. I'm supposed to be the first one. You got a dick. Ain't K down there? Ain't, ain't King K, right? Oh, well, yeah, K, yeah, I forgot about My question is, 
And this is a this is very 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 good question. I think <laughs> Don't hype it up too much. I think all black people want to know. Go ahead. Do white people getting get a kick out of being like the first? Like, like I have a white friend. He's like my first white friend. <laughs> so he me and cherishes that to this <laughs> yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Me and Theo has another white friend, so we uh, argue for like who's the best white like friend. The best white yeah. friend is shit. Because <laughs> like, all white people just want to be accepted. That's all we want. But yo, it's funny though. You want to say crazy though? Weezy don't give a fuck about that. Like the other one, he yeah. don't care about. He's like, I, 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 bro, I don't give a fuck. Like that's him. Like, like I'm like, all right. I just bro. think it's funny. Like when there's like no better like um compliment than when like. A black guy called you, you my N word. I'm like, oh shit, this is yo, the greatest compliment of yeah, all sometimes time. Sometimes they just pull out the vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. It feels good. It, it yo. Just, yo. They just get that feeling of like, yeah. I just think it means like we're actually like really good Fuck friends. Like, but it's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking a <this> cycle. <laughs> Hell yeah. My kids are good. Like, yo, you know yo, saying? like but we know. It's crazy we're though, because sometimes when you like, it just float in the vocabulary. Like, Nigga just like it just yeah. it's like the <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, real yeah. shit is like it becomes normal. Yeah, it just flows so if I trust naturally. You, if yeah. I trust you, you my nigga. Like that goes for men and women. Like, you know I can be talking like, to you like, yo, look, yo, my nigga, what's up? Hey. Why you ain't grab the tissue? <laughs> just know if you say that. Nigga that white you. person you're talking to is the happiest they've ever been. <laughs> like you just made their month, year, like day, whatever it is. Best thing they ever heard. <laughs> that's what's up, though. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I guess a little incited to white people. Drum. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I do be having those, you know, those thoughts sometimes. I wonder. No, you can always ask a white guy yeah. if you guys have questions. Just you know, send it. DM us. You, you call this pink, right? Yeah. Jay Z said this is mauve. I'm about to say. Stop. I'm about to Get say. Colors Jay-Z right, said bro. Mauve I'm too. colorblind, Get so your colors right, I can't bro. actually. Oh, I forgot. Listen, let's ask you. Yeah, because we always ask people. Yeah. Who's a better artist? Oh, I forgot. I already started with this. Jay Z, Eminem. Oh, Jay Z by far. Eminem's trash. Oh, my God. All right, so that's. Whoa, whoa. Don't shake. No shaking hands on that. Yeah, talk about, talk you could have you you said the first trash, thing. You didn't have to. God damn. Like, we talking about as an artist, he's. he's like if I if I give give me an Eminem song, give me the lyrics right now. Let me go into the booth and rap Y'all gonna, gonna tell me to get off the mic. I never meant to make you. Know? So it's you guys just go with like sounds. It's how we sound. It sounds good. He was the first person. He was like, no, he be talking sometimes. He talk about. You turn your shit, mic up bro. towards you. He Sorry. talks sometimes. He, he no. Yeah, so he talks sometimes. Sometimes bro. he, he has his moment. He talk. He but it sounds good. Though. He's not better than Jay though. He's far, he's no. I it's just, cool. That's just our, our, our just, argument. We always go at it. There was about it. we had best rapper of all time on the show. This is before Theo was here, rapper. and Eminem won. So. Who, like, who's all up here? Uh, like, 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 no disrespect, man. It was more white guys than black. No, <laughs> no, there was only two white guys, me and Robbie. The and, best. And how many black guys? Three. Robert? And they said Eminem was better than Jay. Eminem won out the comp. It must, was uh, they must have grew up in Delaware tripping. County. Yeah, something. He had to. Yeah, it wasn't Montgomery no, County. No, uh, two of the dudes were from Jersey. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, they don't count. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I think Trent. I can't really remember. That's I don't cool. really. I mean, any part of Jersey is. <laughs> not it. I fuck with Jersey people. I love don't, Jersey. Don't, don't, don't let me disrespect. I love me. Jersey. I they just don't count. Like you don't ever hear somebody be like, nah. "Yeah, yo, I can't wait till like I come up north and go to Jersey." All right. Uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? Ain't nobody gonna say that about Philly either, unless you're. What New York? New York's the only spot that somebody's they, gonna go. I can't wait to get to New York. They die to come to you Philly. Tripping, I'm man. telling you, people are dying to come to Philly. Uh, besides, of people, people in Philly, of a lot, lot of people. people. <laughs> a lot. The crazy part about it is Jersey people like coming to Philly. <laughs> if you, if yeah, you wanna, don't even like being New York in Jersey, New York won't probably. But Jersey people like coming to Philly. But anybody else outside of like the East Coast of us, just close where we could get to, they yeah, love it here. They love it here. You know they what love, mean? Except like, for if they left here and went somewhere else. Not like, Baltimore, DC, fit in the bad I think Miami loves Philadelphia. I think we're kind of like an amalgam of like New York and like Boston almost. Like there's like you looked at me crazy. Why did you look at me crazy for that? I'm trying to hear you. Like we're we're both like we're we're kind of <laughs> like both New York and Boston. Like it's a perfect mix. There ain't no other big cities in the Northeast that you can th- I can think of. Can you think of one? I don't want to be a mixture of New York and Boston. Yeah, I don't either. Why, Boston? Yeah, no. Nah. So, <laughs> take out Boston. Look, look, at, look <laughs> at the way I look, bro. Away, I mean, I right? couldn't. I've never actually been to Boston. Oh, go away. Well, I don't know how it is uh, if, if you go not away, bad. but go away anywhere and meet people in a bar or whatever. And tell them where you're from. They're going to love you. They're going to love you. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Delco. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say Philadelphia. But you, what would you say though? They, they, where you from? Delaware County. 
Weird. I would say right outside of Philly, but everyone thinks yeah, I'm from Boston but, when they meet me. But if you say, if you do say, everyone do thinks say I'm from Boston. How you talk, how you look. I don't always look. I don't always dress myself <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> how I talk, my gr- Ash still thinks that I sound like I'm from Boston. People think that like <laughs> Philly bit. sounds like a ghetto Boston almost. That's huh? what, no, I've heard that my no, whole life. I don't know. I don't know about that. I've heard that my guess. whole life. Everyone always thought I was from Boston. Yeah. That's Delaware County. That's not I Philly. I think it's because how you look. You do look like you're from Boston. <laughs> that's what I said. Is, 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 look at I, don't really, I feel like, like that's a bad thing because like, like if Boston. we go back like 20 seconds ago, you're like, nah, I don't want to be from Boston. Now you're like, you no, look like you're I'm from Boston. Saying, so I don't want to be from Boston. You're dressed like you're from the Star Wars universe and you're coming at <laughs> Yo, me I'm, I'm, because I'm, I look like I'm from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just oh, saying. Shit. I'm just saying. I'll, I'll take Star Wars universe yeah, before saying. Boston. Who's the little, who's the teddy bears in Star Wars? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the Ewoks. Ewoks, you look like an Ewok right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm a county I Ewok. Never, I ain't never knew them names. I'm a county Ewok. I love Star Wars. I never watched it. Are you serious? I've never seen it either. What? I've never how seen. You know, how you know the animals and shit? Then it's just pop culture references. Okay, dope. Yeah, I never know. seen Star. Because I knew exactly what you was talking about when you said hold it. Hold on, yeah. hold on. no, 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 hold on. No, don't try. To try <laughs> don't bypass the shit. What else haven't y'all seen? Like that's we need uh, to get into this. So y'all haven't seen Star Wars? No, that's crazy. Harry Potter. I watched those. I watched a couple. I didn't of watch the. I read all the books though. I didn't watch. The, I watched. The I didn't like the movies. movies. Like a lot of like really famous movies. I haven't like the like series. I haven't seen because people hype them up too much. Star Trek, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I just never was into like Star Trek and Star Wars. Star Wars like is that. amazing, bro. You guys never into got it. into it. It was never just. like Have you guys thing. ever seen Grease? Yeah. When I was a kid, I don't remember any oh, of it. Right. Yeah. Damn, you gotta watch it again as an adult. It's so dope. Uh, I, I feel like they'd be hating against me because I don't have any hair. No, they be. Isn't it all about greasing their hair and shit? No, it's not about what greasing you, their hair. What are you talking That's about? hairspray. <laughs> oh. I is think. that the women joint you're talking about? You're talking about the women. I thought Grease was greasing hair. Isn't that what no, it was? No, Grease is John is Travolta. Yeah, the yeah, yeah but they're greasing. John. Is it the name Grease because they put grease in their hair? No, uh, you gotta you watch the movie. movie. Yeah. Okay, I haven't oh, seen it in a long great time. Movie, it's like dancing man. and shit. It's My girl sings the song from it all the time. And oh, like, she's so dope. Yeah, yeah. You you she's, she's dope. dope. She's no, she's uh, super dope. She's see, dope, like he yo. hasn't even met her, and everyone loves she's her way more. Dope. Yeah, she's dope. Shout out to Ashley. Anybody that Everyone's knows favorite. the songs from Grease is dope. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, That's one of the greatest musicals ever. So what, like, so you have a morning show, nine a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What's your ritual to wake up for something like that and get like excited that early in the morning? Weed. Ooh, my ritual. And yo, to be honest, I get up at eight thirty, roll over. The fuck out of here! No, literally, I wake up at eight thirty. Like, oh shit, roll over. <laughs> oh shit, run in the bathroom, get myself together, throw some shit on, and be out and pull up. And when I get there, I'm. Droggy, I'm droggy, I'm droggy. And as soon as I walk into that studio, it's seeing me morning show time. time. It's game time. It's time to work. Like, show is it already set? Up? Everything's already set up for you when you get um, there. Yeah, for the most part, I just gotta make sure you know I got you know got things I need like you know la- you know laptop, you know mm-hmm. you know bud, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying alcohol, you know what I'm saying my other mm-hmm. phone so I can you know send out messages. Must stuff be like the that. Hennessy. Yeah, all that good stuff. And I always keep my furry bag that carries everything I need. Right here, the first very bag. Do you live in Philly now? Um, yes. I so you're you're close to the studio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not too far at all. It's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could see that shit. <laughs> yeah, this studio is a hike for everybody involved. Yeah, oh this gosh. would be what? I got a schedule to get out. This dress is it. Yeah, I'm coming out. All right, bad. So yeah, I got schedule. I got to get here like an hour to two hours early to set everything up. Yeah. And sometimes I'll write the episode when I get here. I was here like, before you today. Were you? You were over, yeah, you're over there. But yeah, I'm saying, I was up here. Yeah, and doing I was music. Like, that's stuff. why I text you, like, yo, where you at? <laughs> like, he's running late today. I want, <laughs> well, I was sleeping, I want to wake her up. So you don't take, like, anything to pep you up? Because I have to drink a monster before I get here in the morning. No, 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 no. I might stop at the corner store and get, like, a hot tea mm. for my hot toddy, but that's about it. Is it hard to get guests on that early in the morning? No. People will wake up, because yeah. getting guests here even at 1 p.m. on a Sunday. I mean, for for I believe, yeah. yeah this is a cup. Just a cup for what? Just pour it up. Oh my god, you ask too many questions. I believe. Okay. I believe. <laughs> um, I have a shot glass. That's all I was asking. Mm-hmm. I believe people Might make sit. people make time for what they feel can help them grow. Okay. So are you saying we couldn't help you grow today? I was going to see. I was going to go right at, go right behind you, what you was about to say, but you, yeah. you kind of, yeah, I tweeted. You know yeah, yeah, you tweeted towards. I don't there. think people like it's a whole lot of things that I, like 
I wish, like, that I want to be at. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I don't like the saying when people say you can make time for what, what you, you want. want. Yeah, It's exactly. like, no, because it's things that I need to do for what I need. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you worrying about once and you ain't got your needs together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like it's, it's three things that I got to do today. So I do want to be there, but I yeah. can't make it, man. I, like, I, I, want to, I wanted to be in Miami, but I needed... You know what I'm saying? So what? I needed to come and vibe with, you know what I'm saying, with the no, fellas. I feel man. you, man. That's how that's how it is, man. Like, you gotta I do what you gotta do. Facts. You know, but, that's but even we make time for things that was gonna help us grow. Yo, real shit. That's what I, I was just about to say, though. Like, uh, people always, like, say that you make time for what you want. Yeah. And... Mainly women. I, I yeah, to like, say that. That's a woman saying. Oh, you make time thing. for what you want. All right, so... I want you to come over right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why are, you, why are we going through all of this now? That's you know a hell of saying? a way to put it. I want you to come over right now and you're still talking to me. Like, just say, okay, I'm on my way. No, that's too much like right. And you know women don't ever want you to feel like they you're right. They don't. You know and then, and so you got to, you know, they want you to say, I want you to, nah, come on, man. Like, don't you just got to you gotta make them, f- you got to empower them while you're still in control. That's crazy though. You know, now, when you think about it though, like with women, you really always gotta, like with at most, mostly every conversation, you gotta make them feel special. Yeah, it's like dying, like all yeah. day, every day. It can't be a, uh, it can't be a hundred percent you. <laughs> you be like, yeah, I love you, love you. Damn, I, I ain't for die. My so bad. you didn't, yeah, yeah, like, so, like, like you don't love me. Like, what do you mean? Like, love you? Like, what? Like, what do you love? Like, like who loves what? Like, who loves me? That I, shit, yeah. I love you, like you know what I'm saying. Now I don't even want to say. It. <laughs> yeah, What's going on? Right now? Is this I had, yo, I had a girl. Right? I had a girl ask me one time. Right, she was like, um, she hit me up. She was like, she was like, I miss you, and I was like, and I just didn't respond. Right, she was like, I miss you. I just did not respond to her. That's hard. This is hard, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Sponsored by Ashley. As been oh, most of my life. Oh. My you're on mute. Uh, <laughs> Flying dog should be a sponsor. That's fire. I had a girl ask me, or she ask me. She told me she says I miss you, so I didn't respond to her, right? right? And I waited until the end of the day, and then I hit her back, and I was like, I miss you too, right? And Are she you? was like, Not after all these hours you texting me, da, 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 you gonna text me? But I was like, I had to feel like I miss you in order to say I miss you. Hey, no, real. Look, sometimes it's like. So instead of lying to you, yeah. I waited until I actually missed you. Like, now like you're lucky it was today. You like, know how hard it is sometimes to like, like be like, like you could leave, you could leave a person twenty minutes ago mm-hmm. or an hour ago. You just and you getting in the just of your day. You kind of getting in the groove of your day. And then it takes you like, what you doing? I'm doing this. Right. Oh, I miss you. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, it's like ah. I'm not thinking about it right now. Like, like. like ah. Yeah, yeah, like, why are you? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even the, trying to be your asshole or facts. be funny or smart, but you just want me to say something to make you feel like, oh, I got to keep it up. You don't say it back? No. Sometimes, like, <laughs> time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. It's know. not even about being evil, but, like, like being sometimes, honest. yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, oh, man. It's an hour later. I miss you. If Wait, I lie are you to in you. a relationship? No. Obviously, Theo. I can tell you guys aren't relationships, because if I pulled that shit with my girl, there's no. Just, it, like, when it's your girl, it kind of, it, it, it it's man. It's an obligation. But mm. you want to hear something funny? <laughs> after a while, you're obligated though, to say I miss you too. Yeah, after a while though, even in a relationship, <laughs> no. you're in a relationship for a grip. You know how that shit go. Like that shit yeah. ain't gonna be like that. I miss you. It's just gonna be a regular conversation. Yeah, mm. I don't think. I think it's just these honeymoon, honeymoon, the honeymoon phases phase, and shit. Yeah. I miss you. It's more like I just like, hopped out the shower. I've she, never been out of a honeymoon phase before. I've never been in a relationship where I was out of a honeymoon phase. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people. I'm fucking. I'm really good at relationships. Like that's what I'm best at. You, that means you got money. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fuck that <laughs> means. <laughs> he said I ain't never been out the honeymoon. Oh, you got money, money. You got that funny money. <laughs> <laughs> I, money. I need money. You actually. got that residual. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You, you got never, properties. Never, <laughs> never been, how many relationships have you been in? Me? Thanks. Two serious ones. Like really two. The okay. whore in my current relationship. I can't lie to you. I've only been in one. I was about to say, how many, like, what do y'all count serious relationships? Like, like she, actual girlfriend. Like, she met, well, 
it's a little different. <laughs> if she, I'm talking about if if she meet like my my family know her yeah. and she knows my yeah. family. Like she could right. walk down the street and be like, oh, they go uncle such okay. and such, and they be like, yeah. oh, hey. like that's, that's how I look type at family. Yeah. If you just meet met my sister, and you mean that was probably an breeze by my mom. <laughs> that mm-hmm. was an accident. Ah, uh, yeah. So when they meet extended family, that's when they're serious. Kinda. Yeah, it gets to that point. You know what I'm saying? How many relationships have you been in? Man, that's probably a- probably like rural relationships, maybe two. How old are you? Thirty-two. Okay, I'll be thirty-three this year. It's my Jesus year this year. County Jesus coming soon. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> County Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Kravitz. <laughs> that sounds crazy. I like that. He's like a fucking yeah. uh, 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 a singer. That like might a, be the. That might be. A, I might drop an album for my 33rd Jesus, birthday. Jesus Kravitz. Jesus Kravitz. <laughs> yeah, I need to produce on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna be on top of water like this. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't want to be a part of the cover if you're doing some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a producer of that job. Yeah, you know water, saying? wine, and bread. That's mm. hard. Whiskey. Mm. So <laughs> I like that. That's hard. That, that oh, you fine. can walk on whiskey. What's honey? Oh, What's honey? Oh, What's honey? Okay. I can walk on. Oh, okay. I gotta Bro, on I'm a, I always got the job. ideas with this, <laughs> this hat. This we gotta hat. walk on honey. <laughs> too tight. We're not walking on water. We walking on honey. We turn water into honey. <laughs> uh, or Jack Daniels for today. Oh yeah, into that Jack Daniels. Shout out Jack Daniels. <laughs> Should be a sponsor. Yeah, I actually don't like the uh, honey Jack. The why'd you get it? Uh, it, was it was right there. there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was on sale. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it was there. It was there. there. Like, it was, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it was, was the there. first thing I, I saw. Honestly, I'm going to keep it G. And I knew I didn't really want to grab a big bottle because I was going to take it home. Mm. And I know how we drink at the crib, yeah. trying to chill. Mm. So this is like, ah, this is great for the podcast. Thanks. Yeah. Finish it here and leave it here. It's not like a personal, man. A little pint, a little cool. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. So uh, on the CME morning show, yeah. who's the, like, what's your, like, your favorite episode of all time? Damn. It could be like the guest. It could just be like what happened, like the vibe during it. Favorite episode. Damn, that's a good question. Um, Never had that question asked. That's a great question because I watch every single show, like playback. Like, so mm, my f- probably my favorite episode would be. The three year anniversary episode this year. Like not discrediting anybody else that been on the show the last three years. Yeah. But the three years it just meant a lot because, you know, we started with absolutely nothing. You know, it was just me up there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now we got a team of ten. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of the scene we more than show staff. So mm-hmm. it started with me and it's now ten of us. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's making sure that every Monday and Wednesday and Friday we roll in and any events and stuff that we got going on, sponsorship, all that stuff. Like we, it's ten of us now, not just me doing everything now. So that that was like the realization for me that three years. Was there a guest on that show that you really enjoyed, or was it just you guys and the, like you and the crew? It was just me and the crew, but we also had um, my folks, Mula from Four GMG, mm-hmm. uh, Mula Production uh, Promotions down uh, from Miami. They had them on the Zoom. Mm-hmm. Um, my homie Dave had him on the Zoom. Um, and we had about five, six artists from across the, literally every state on the East Coast on the Zoom as well. Mm-hmm. So it was just a big link up, and um, a lot of great things came from that, mm-hmm. you know, came from that podcast. And they gave me a lot of flowers that I wasn't expecting. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm starting to uh, enjoy the little wins and mm-hmm. the flowers that are given while you're still here. Right, right. So it was dope. I a lot. So what's the worst episode of all time? Um, the worst episode is any episode where we're not on air. Mm. Like it's not live, you yeah, mean? if it's not live. Well, this isn't live, I'm sorry. Is this what the I'm worst saying. episode? Is this the worst show you've ever I'm been saying, on? I'm saying, see me more. Oh, the worst episode I've, wait, the worst show no, I've no, ever no, no, been no. on? Well, we can go to that. Is that the question? No, the first question was. Oh, what's oh, the worst seeing me morning show? Yeah. If we're not on air okay. at all. And if there's no <laughs> playback going, if there's no live going, what's if we're not on, then it's just. That's the worst CME Morning Show because there's no CME Morning Show. So what's the worst show you've ever been on then? Mm. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of that no, question. That's a great that's man, a great man. question. <laughs> you what? I could have used that. What? Oh, for the Yes, man. Was that your question that you were gonna ask later? Yep. <laughs> he said it. I didn't say it. The worst show. 
the worst show that I've probably been on. It's a good thing they're not on air. It was oh, shit. it was a it was a podcast called This and That. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it just wasn't this, and it just wasn't that. Was it the production, the host, the the people? In, like- it was just everything. Like it was just. I thought that they had it together mm-hmm. in a sense. Like everybody, it was just no in good energy mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, at all. It was just bad energy. Mm. That's a great question. You know what I'm saying? Just bad energy. He I was, asked it to I was me. trying to think of that. You know, I, I, I ain't even going to lie. While you were saying it, I was really trying to think of, like, what is the, my favorite episode of this shit? Because I don't even know. Mm. So did that show deserve to go off air then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they <laughs> definitely they went off probably, like, about six, seven months later. That's perfect because that leads right into a game called Did They Deserve It? Did they deserve it? I don't know how I just got tongue tied there. Deserve it. Did they deserve it? <laughs> <laughs> so what's gonna happen is we're gonna watch a video. Uh, this is actually made for another I guess a while back. What? You introduced these? Yeah, you're on mute. I didn't even hear it. What the fuck Flying dog, you're on mute. Should be a sponsor. I heard him. I heard him say that. He said you're on mute, and I was trying to figure. I was like, damn. You might want to turn your mic on. <laughs> that's what I got. Everyone, saying. shut up! That's what I, that's no what I, talking. Shut the fuck up! I was wondering, and you kept talking, so I was like, "Wait, well, I guess he's not on mute. I guess he did it from the computer. I don't know what happened." Oh shit! This shit is nasty. So the name of the game is "Did They Deserve It?" We're gonna watch a video of a comedian actually getting some something happens to them. We're gonna decide if they deserved what happened to them. Oh, I'm ready. That's not his voice says. 2001. Do the monkey. End of joke. Monkey, do the monkey. I don't think you've watched the show so far. This is no choose your own adventure story. <laughs> That's kind of you can turn to page 85. It turns out I fucked your mother. <laughs> oh. So he made a mama joke. Somebody in the crowd who he made the joke to is mama's dead. Okay. And he threw a glass at him. Get the fuck out of here right now, or I will call the police. Because that's assault. Brother. So did the comedian deserve it for your mama joke? No. Nah, he ain't, he ain't no. deserve that. He, he up there to do what he do. You, you came he, to a comedy, comedy show, show and you talking and you talking shit. And you know how know. that shit go. That's yeah. what happened. He only did that because he he wasn't intimidated by who was on stage. And that's all. I feel for his mom. I feel for him. Yeah. But he, you know what I mean you gotta control them emotions, yeah, big guy. He, he wasn't finished grieving. That's what that was. Yeah. But your mama jokes are not meant to be personal. At all. Like, if there's a sister joke or brother joke, yeah, those are more personal. Mama jokes are literally Man, just that. None of that is, like, I'm going to keep it G. Like, that's a comedian. If I go there, it's nothing's off limits at right, that right. point yeah. in time. Like, I came here to laugh. Because yeah. if Facts. it was the next dude over, I would be cracking the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, boy, like you said, he might have got too much in him, in his yeah, system. He, he drunk, grieve. thinking about it. And whoever his friend is, his mom is dead, man. Fuck you too, bro. Yeah. Like, you should be saying something to him. You yeah, know what I'm facts. saying? Like, yo, come on, we got to go. Like, it's, it's... Like, we got to go, bro. You, you know. Did he deserve it? No. Did he deserve it, guys? Oh, no, man. Heck no. <laughs> that shit was about to be funny, actually. Cool beans. He said, I'm going to call the police. Hello. My name is Don Fuck. I wish you would come to my seminar, and if you do, I can make you millionaire! <laughs> millionaire! You see, I buy a house for $2,000, I sell it for $800,000, that's more money than you people make in Lifetime doing whatever the fuck you do, because of my seminar! <laughs> What's your name? George. George, are you having fun time? <laughs> he was. <laughs> He's supposed to be Asian. Okay, you're busting my book, George. Oh, yeah, he about to deserve whatever he like comes from. <laughs> what you do for a living, George? Besides busting my balls. I'm a bank teller. You're a bank teller. You know what kind of job that is? That's a loser job. That's my seminar. <laughs> Let me tell you something, George. My father told me long, long time ago when I was just tiny, tiny dumb fuck. He said, dumb fuck, there are two types of Girls people in this it. world. 
winners like me and losers like you not because of my seminar <laughs> <laughs> oh you're so pretty what's your name Rachel. Rachel are you with George yeah. oh you should not be with him you should be with me I love you long time come for the seminar <laughs> she's over the shit so pretty oh me so horny me so horny <laughs> oh yo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he deserved all that. He deserved that. He got the glasses on that make him. You yeah, know what I'm saying? he's doing too and much. He, he made it personal. Yeah, I think he deserved that one. It's it like personal. getting on, like getting on stage with a black face. You know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. even if you get on stage and paint yourself white, probably won't even make it up the steps. Yeah, <laughs> he won't even make it inside the building, like out his dressing room. <laughs> what would be the like, the white version of that? Like being like super racist towards whites, like with jokes. Like, what would you do? Like paint yourself like act like Donald Trump. Yeah. Oh Jesus! No, you think you probably wouldn't even. Went no, it went in. You gotta just be. Sure. It, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. You G, gotta man. be a neighbor. You wanna hear something crazy? A what? A neighbor. What does that mean? Hey, howdy, neighbor. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta just be a neighbor. Great day outside. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the bus this morning? Honestly, man, it's kind of hard to like, like, like. To be honest, it's kind of like hard to offend. White people like y'all so quick on your feet. I ain't gonna lie, y'all yeah. quick on your feet with responses and how y'all y'all can control y'all emotions. Y'all don't got no boundaries. Yeah, it's like it's no way to unless you call them racist and then and, and yeah. they're not really racist. They probably that's like, when they like that's you. that's like the that's like the uh, that's like pineapple for black people. We can say that you. You know what I'm saying? You're, racist. You're racist. You know? <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, like, yeah, the cracker don't even. Well, if you say that too, if you say it and they're, and they're not racist, the oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. No, I'm not. You guys are five. doing the exact voice that Dave Chappelle no, does. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, I have five like How black friends. How dare you say that? <laughs> I went to school in the inner city. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys say that Yo. you can't offend white people because the next video is just that. Oh, man. Yo, it's so shut the fuck up or I'll start talking about women. I don't think I'm going to want One male first, one every other pal. Look, there has been making sexist bullshit jokes. Cunt? How about that? <laughs> You're a cunt. Or white women, which are know, always offended. All right, if my car was in your mouth, maybe that would shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Like, Yo, why do all white women punch up. like that? <laughs> like all white women punch I'm like that. They mom. lead with the push the and then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look how. I can't believe it. I got two women on why? stage trying to beat me. <laughs> no, you just shut up during my show. Get off the stage. It's please. just another word. Joke. They look like librarians. They do. Which one would you have sex with? Neither. If I had to choose. That was tough. Yo, I got a question. That, that whole thing was just. And white women are the only white species to do this. <laughs> There's only one. White, <laughs> There's all the white, white species. Men, white men do it too. Why do y'all run up and then be like. Now, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Buster. Now, no, come on, that steam. Like, yeah, <laughs> like to talk to me. Like, <laughs> you, like, <"Ugh." laughs> you, <laughs> you make me mad. Yeah, they, they they must think that whole strong ass run. Yeah. They must think that whole time, and when they come there, they get to their senses. Like, ah, they be like, ah, wait, now I know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I, I told you they quick on their feet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally. <laughs> So did the comedian deserve to get punched there? I mean, uh, no. I mean, no. It's not a situation like, like that. She, they both, you know, what I mean, people people heckle, mm-hmm. and then when you say something back, mm-hmm. now you're mad. But you were heckling, mm-hmm. so something that he said already offended you. Amazing to make you get to that point. So you know what I mean, they need to stop going to comedy shows. So this was That's something funny. that a lot of people asked for. That was hilarious. Last time this happened, so you know where they where they wouldn't do that at. Where? They wouldn't even make it up there if they was at like a Travis Travis uh, uh, Scott concert. Oh, They'd have man. fucked them up in the crowd. <laughs> they would have poked them with some fucking that. syringes. Oh shit! I should know. Yeah, you can tell your clout. You get you get harassed by your fans like to the point where they punching on you. They're assaulting you. You have no clout out here in these streets. Bad for quit. Business. Go to work. 
<laughs> you scared? No! 50 years ago, you had your own tied down with a fucking fork up your ass! You guys know what this is? Yeah, this is Kramer. Oh, 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 oh. You can talk, you can talk, you can talk, you brave man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a nigger! He's a nigger! Oh my god. A nigger look is a nigger! Ooh. Yeah, the white, the room, the, the nice white people in the background, right. the non racist people, they're like, they're like, uh oh, he's about to get his ass whooped. <laughs> 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 what was it called for? It's not called for you to get on my ass, you cheap motherfucker! <laughs> you guys have been talking and talking and talking! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Who the fuck's laughing? This is going nuts. Too much for you to handle. You said coming. They're going to arrest me for calling a black man from New York. The video quality is terrible. Wait a minute, where's he going? I'm going for you, f***ing right now. I'm going to call him in prison. 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 Oh, it's a big threat. That's how you get back in the van. That was real called for. Wait a minute, he's not going, is he? You're just not funny. That's why you're reset. Never had no show, never had no movie. Sign Bill, that's it. Oh, I guess you got me there. You're absolutely right. I'm just a wash up. Got to stand on the stage. Absolutely, that's it. We had it. We had it. And that is it. Oh, that ain't necessary. Well, you interrupted me, pal. That's what happens when you interrupt the white man. He went from that to pal. That shit, he ain't do that shit in Philly. I think Laugh Factor is in Cali? I think Laugh Factor is in Cali. Yeah, he ain't do that shit in Philly. He would have rushed the stage. I would have rushed the stage my dance so. He's walk. He got scared. Yeah, I would have rushed the stage on that. Like, that, that he deserved, like... I don't, I don't even know what he got, but so he that? got basically basically all that happened was him was he got canceled, which obviously should have. I yeah. mean, he was Kramer. He was I never watched Seinfeld. Right, I was a show? big. I was, I was it's crazy because yeah, I, 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 I was a big. I was I'm a big fan of Seinfeld. I didn't. I never was a big fan of Kramer in Seinfeld though. So it kind of makes sense. I've never seen the show, so I don't. I know he's like a like big Seinfeld. deal on that show, yeah. but yeah, he obviously deserved to get. Show. He was like, that was like I think that was like twelve. 13 years ago when that happened. Yeah. If you can tell from all this video quality is terrible on these. Don't know why, but are you yeah, about to look up Kramer? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> what the fuck? You never heard of Kramer? You never heard yeah, of that? Yeah, I, know, I know, but I ain't never see that shit. For real? That, that, that was, that was like deal. 10 minutes that I cut down yeah, to like three. Yeah, that was no, a I, big I, deal. I could, I could believe it, but. He had a whole rant. Like, mm -hmm. so we all agree that he deserved that, right? Like, mm -hmm. well, he deserved more, yeah. but he got canceled. Uh, whatever it is, he, what, like all the canceling and all that shit. Because he ain't really been in shit. I mean, he might got his money and some shit got his hand. He's still making some money somewhere, but I th other than that, fuck it. Like, you know. I think he was like the first like person of like the cancel. He was culture. even before cancel culture. Yeah, he's before. He's like the pre culture cancel culture. He was kind. Of, I feel like he was pioneer. like pioneer. Remember the uh, woman we had last week on the bitches be crazy. Who was talking shit to the Asian woman? Yeah. Wait, were you here? Wait, yeah. no. Oh, you were here last week. We had a oh, woman. Yeah, no, it wasn't last week. I ain't gonna lie. That just that was crazy. Hold up. Yeah. So last still, week we had. Still on. I, I feel you. I was like that when I first seen it. I wasn't with it. I was like, dang. I yeah. He he went stuff. hard too. It was like like I said. It was like ten minutes yeah, long. Yeah. It's a it's a longer like when you get a chance watch the whole video. It's a longer video. I can't watch that. But video. um, yeah. I remember when that. I remember when that video like surfaced. He's like pre cancel cool. He's an urban legend. Did you he hear Chappelle's culture. joke on that? Uh uh. You didn't hear Chappelle talk no, about it? No, I didn't. So Chappelle was at the Laugh Factory too, and I'm pretty sure it's in LA. Not positive, but I'm pretty, pretty sure. It, nine times out of ten. But you know you know Chappelle just shows up wherever the fuck he wants and right. he's him. His joke was like he's like every time every time I see this background behind me is I think about Kramer fucking up. Oh shit. And he's like that when I saw that video I was like I'm ten percent black and ninety percent comedian, because he's like, damn, he's just having a bad set. Hope he gets him next time. Right now, do you think he should have even commented on it? You think Chappelle can get away with that? I mean, I think I, I look at it like this: like um, when you're in a comedic world, it's that's not, what I was about to say. He's a comedian. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's like, like you don't. It's, what do you take serious sometimes? Yeah, but that's that's like that's disrespectful. Like you, know what I'm saying you in a whole field with other people that's probably your friends. Mm -hmm. 
And you, you uh, yeah, that shit kind of bothered yeah. me just now. Yeah, I'm not really a big, a big. I, I never was a big Kramer fan. I've never yeah, seen the show, so I mean, never seen Seinfeld. Yeah, no, Seinfeld me and my girl are show. currently watching Friends for the first time I for love, me. You we're never, almost on my shit. Too. This your we're first almost on Friends. Seeing Friends. Yeah, first time. You ever seen Friends? That's what I. I, I, I love friends. Friends. I friends. I'm about to start. I think Seinfeld. She wants like to watch that next, so I'm gonna see what it's all about. You, but you know yeah. what it is though, like it, it grew me as a like, I love the humor, the humor of it, the humor of these shows. Be what gets me. Like even that back to. What's the joint that um, Ashton Kutcher first started on? Um, Punked. No, not Punk. What's the show he was on? Ashton Kutcher was on. What kind of show was? What was it about? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. That redneck show, the one where he's like a cowboy kind of thing. No, my dad watches that. My dad likes. I know what show you're talking about. You know, what I'm talking. It's on Netflix. Is, no, where is he uh, hanging out? Uh, Down the sh- seventy show. Oh, that seventy oh, okay. show. Okay, I've never seen shit. that either. I, what? Never seen that either. There's a that's lot of sh- that work, bro. There's a lot of when I was growing up, like those shows were all out, but I was South Park. Yeah, I used to sit in a circle with myself. He was an asshole in that joint. Oh, that, have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother yet? I can't remember. I yeah, feel like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like somebody else is on here and they said they didn't. I couldn't remember who it was. Do you? Did you watch uh, How I Met Your Mother? No. That I so I've watched in Friends now. How I Met Your Mother. They actually shoot it all in the same like. Apartment complex, but it's probably like a studio. Sure. You'll see the the same exact sets. I still gotta watch. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, bro. Best show of all time. <laughs> best show it. of all time. That Seventy show is amazing. That Do you watch? It's always sunny. Uh, no. You guys are talking about fucking Seinfeld when it's all always sunny. You've never watched. You're from. I don't. Fe- I, I don't even really know what like that is. I've heard, always heard of it, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. But it's the longest running show of all time. Talking, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, That's what you're look, it's crazy. I hear about it. I used all the to time, think it was like I, something on the news. <laughs> I thought so always thought too. I don't know what it is. It's a show. Like what is it? <laughs> it's bull. It's a it's, show. Like, it's a group of people who own a bar in Philly, and it's it's just fucking hilarious. I don't yeah, Frank. Yeah, uh, I can't yeah, say I uh, Danny DeVito is on it. Charlie Day is in it. You know who, you don't know who Danny DeVito is. I know is. Danny DeVito. You don't know who Charlie Day is. I gotta see a face. Yeah, I was about to say, like, so, so, with, 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 with us, sometimes you gotta, oh, that him. He was like, oh, him. Yeah. He white? <laughs> His name's Charlie. Yeah, actually, Charlie's, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, him. I guess oh, everyone's. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Charlie. Yeah, 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 he's he's in it. <laughs> we all know Charlie. Yeah, we know who that yeah, yeah. is. He's been in a few joints. We know Charlie. Charlie's hilarious. Um, he's yeah, in, that's he's my, in uh, Hall Pass. Yes. He's, I think it's one of my, I think it's the best show of all time. Honestly, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. The yeah. best show all the time. It, wow. it took me a long time to get into it. It took me like ten seasons because everyone was. I was in the military, right? So I moved around a lot. Right. And people were like, "Where are you from?" Like right outside of Philly. So, oh, you ever watch It's Always Sunny? When people tell me to watch a show, I don't watch it. Same thing with movies. Right. Star Wars. Go watch it. No, I don't want to watch it. Oh, you yeah, that's because like really you hype it up too much. Sunny, so I'm like, yeah. I, I'm not gonna watch it now. You, you're hyping it up. No, I love Star Wars. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta stop doing it. Saying right outside of Philadelphia. Like I you don't want to be. I like don't want to be from Philly. I'm not from Philly though. If I said Philly, nah, fuck that. If you out but of state, you from Philly? Because they're gonna ask you. The first thing they're gonna ask you. I'm from Delaware County. Where is that at? No, I don't say Outside Delaware County. And they Philly. say, out, yo, you know what's crazy? How close is it? Five minutes away from Philly. I say you know suburbs crazy? of Philly. I do say that actually. What? I do say what he says. Like right outside of Philly. I say like when they be like, yo, where you from? I be like, the county. They be like, where, where is that? I be like, right outside of Philly. I was like, but I got good ties. You know what I'm saying? City, city. It's just we right Nah, man. City. Fuck that. You too, then. You got to stop that like, shit. I'd say Willow Grove. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll I'm say from the like, city, Damn, where man. that at? Where you from? <laughs> Philadelphia, you man. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it for, for, in, a, in, a, in a sense, it helps me stand out. Like, I do it from, like, a more of that sense. It helped me stand out. I'm from Willow Grove. Where's that at? Oh, did it. So when, you know what I'm saying, they ask somebody that they know from Philly, yo, you know this boy named County Kravitz. He say he's from Willow Grove. From the rip, they gonna know exactly who they you are. They gonna know is. exactly who you're talking to. You know what I'm it's saying? It's a good way to put it, but fuck all that. <laughs> it's a great way to put it, but fuck all that, man. I'm from Philly, man. With my mauve hoodie on. Mauve. Mauve. How do you spell that? M U A. It gotta be M A U V E. M A U. It gotta be M A U V E. You know what? I'm getting some humdiggities when I leave here. What the f- oh, that food. Yep. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, I'm ready. You know what's about to happen? I don't. You don't. I do, but I don't. You're a judge. 
I am a judge. I'm ready. The name. Let's take a shot before I play the music. Let's take a. Let's. Uh, here, you go, you up. here you go, young blood. Did you already take one? I got one in the. I cup. got one right. All right, hold on. Cup. Let me pour. It. You know what? While I pour you this, you are on mute. And when we get ready, you I'm gonna, are I'm gonna, on I'm gonna, mute. I'm gonna play the theme song, created by me and Theo Dolce. Hey. Please rise. Court is now in session. The defendant is not guilty. You're the one who's guilty. Call the first witness. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. See how y'all do your I see I like I like y'all man. I know I was gonna like y'all. Yeah, I'm no, pitting it all together. You know what I'm saying? All together. So the name of the game is plead the fifth. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna ask you five questions. Mm. During those five questions you can ask you can plead the fifth once and only once. I'm ready. Are you ready? Only got one time to plead the fifth. And if you do plead the fifth, sorry, I've got to say this, you do have to chuck a whole beer. Or a shot. Okay. Let's work. Let's do this. You. Let's do this. Plead the fifth. First question. Who is the worst musician you have ever, ever interviewed or had to act like that you liked their music when they were on your show? Mm. They were on you like, this person's trash, but I have to pretend to like them. Damn. Is, is there so many that you just can't? Yo, I've had so many artists on my show that it's, that's really a great... Uh, no, not that it's like bad music, but... <laughs> what's someone doing in their names? Um... I'm trying to think of somebody that know their name. I really want to give you guys a good answer. Give some weighted music. As we wait. Um on Kravitz's answer. Of the shittiest musicians that ever came on this show. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Brother Kravitz, you can always plead the fifth and take a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna plead the fifth on this one. You're I'm gonna, gonna plead the fifth on this oh one. My oh my god, we got I'm one. gonna plead the fifth on this one. Well the first question on the, on the first, first one. I feel like you're gonna regret this. I'm not gonna I'm say not. I'm okay. not. I think I'm gonna be ready. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> but that one right there, ah, that's tough. It was a tough one, but bro. That's Damn, tough because I get a lot of I was about to talk. It's over now. I ain't got the vibe no more. Well, the second question is about to come up. Don't worry, you can get into the vibe again. Cause All this right, one. Cool. Alright, let's go. Second question. What is the worst show at Glockware Radio? Are you regretting pleading the fifth that now? Good question. No, my brother, brother, not at all. brother Justin Judge. The Can worst show, because I'm y'all don't understand. I'm PR Mac. Like I do this. Like I do questions. Like I do this. So the worst show on Glockware. He's going to give us an answer. Is a show he has to. That's buzzing. not on Glock Aware. Mm, uh, that shit. That's my answer. No, what is it? You have to. You have to give a name. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No. If it's not on Glock Aware, it's a worship. You, you gotta plead. The, you can't plead the fifth. Twice. I can't plead the fifth. Twice. That's a smooth. That's a smooth answer. Though. That's actually a smooth answer. That's a smooth answer. Like because if you really think about it, it's the. Are you giving him the pass? Yeah, you got it. Go I ahead. answered that very well. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Because how the he worst show on Glock is not no. on Glock Aware. It's not on Glock Aware. So any show that's not on Glock Aware is a. Are you saying we're the worst show ever? Yeah, I mean maybe. What I'm, I'm just saying in his mind, I'm just saying. Fucker. It's cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. We get a pass though. We not online. Ah. Uh, you know I mean? We a podcast. Factory. We ain't go live, baby. We not factory. on the radio yet. You know what I mean? So, Y'all wait. Question three. I'm ready. Told you What's the this. worst thing you've ever lied to your mom about? Mm. She said, worst why are you out this late? What were you doing? Something like that. That's a bad question. Uh, the worst thing I lied to my mom about. It came to your mind. Don't lie. It's two things. They're going to always answer this question. But... Cause your parents will never see this shit. Facts. <laughs> no, my mom gonna watch this joint. She watches everything I do. So, but Yo, you the worst thing that I've lied to my mother about in my thirty-two years, going on thirty-three years of life, I told her I was gonna have a kid one time. <laughs> was anyone actually pregnant? No. <laughs> At all. <laughs> At all. <laughs> But I told her that to give me leeway because I owed her like some money. 
And I told her that I was on my grind. <laughs> and she said, boy, you ain't on no grind. I was like, ma, I got youngin' on the way. She said, oh, my God, for real? I was like, yeah, I'm going to give you more details. Yeah, later. <laughs> later. At a later date. <laughs> and so by I- the time it was time to give details, I gave her a check. So we was good. Like it was, she didn't it, ask where you lied. She, it, it just it looked fuck that. money and fuck water under the bridge. And yeah, fuck, and fuck she, them kids was a person. The kid. Fuck them. She didn't yeah, ask your mom. You were like, oh, she lost it. It was a miscarriage. You just never talked about it again. I just let it go <laughs> yeah, man, until it. now. Uh, and, and, and until and now, man. you just. Hey, what? I mean, do you want to say anything to your mother? Baby, man. Um, <laughs> mom, um, that kid would have been dope. <laughs> but not doping in Cody. So, you know, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but what if <laughs> y'all just eating? She's like, yeah, what if happened to that kid? <laughs> Shit, hell if I know. <laughs> <laughs> not my problem. Hey, yo. That boy crazy, man. <laughs> hey, yo, fourth, <laughs> fourth question. Mm-hmm. Have you ever stolen a lyric or beat for your music? A lyric or beat? Yes. Now, what you mean still? What do you mean? You used it for your own music? Oh, yeah. So if you go if you go into Kravitz Season 1.5 on all platforms right now, I got a song in there called Return of the Mac Part 1. Mm. That ain't my beat. But that joint going up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I just YouTube can't joint? find a producer. Man, fuck that. Like I told y'all before. So, hey. When they call, they call. Exactly. You know what I mean? If I got start popping, I mean I'm doing something right. Facts. I got a couple dollars for him. You know what I mean when he come around? Man, I ain't even got that for him, bro. You <laughs> see what some, I did I to your shit? For him. I can help you make more of those. Let's go. <laughs> What's crazy, though, is it's a lot of people that put that song on YouTube, but they never monetized it. Mm-hmm. I was just the only one that really monetized it. So Man, I just used a little Uzi beat on all streaming platforms. Don't <laughs> yeah. listen to Silly Watch. Rock that drum. They be all right. Question five coming from Theo Dolce. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Question five. Mm. Plead the fifth. Or you can answer. I'm ready. Who's the illest on Love and Then What? Who is the lovest on No, the love illest. And, the illest. The illest. The illest on Love and Then What? <laughs> I mean, look, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. The illest on Love and Then What is whoever is sick right now. So who's sick? This motherfucker, man. <laughs> Dude, all right. What was that? The whole Glockware oh, radio. What was that? Have you guys had PR that. training? What was that, though? I feel like they have PR training because <laughs> the, like or Sammy kind of, yeah. like, when we would ask him questions, we kind of did the same thing. Where he would, like, skip around. Like, he would go. They, 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 they go, he to, would, they they go to Glockware training. Yeah. <laughs> like, they would, have, they would like, leapfrog. Training, they were, like. Like, Before you can sign on the Glock, where you gotta give them a week of just a fucking. Uh, what's this shit called? Where you go. Uh, we you, you start a job. What's this shit called? Uh, orientations. A oh, week yeah, of orientation. orientation of Glock Aware, and they give you like a test of questions or some shit. Man. <laughs> How would you answer this? A, B, C, <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> you got. I think. I think it's something you just pick up though. No real shit. Like you just pick it up. Not like a, I learned. Like I learned that. Like I learned how to defer his questions. <laughs> easy. Like pick up on them easy. Don't answer too much. Right. Too soon. You know what I'm saying? Like I still answer questions from the day I met him. You know what right. I'm saying? Like he's like, wait, hold up. I asked you that. Yeah, man. I had to take time to get. Had to really think about it. Yeah, you know. And so I'm at a point now where it. yeah, that that question it. was a good one to answer. It's a good drink. Thirty nine weeks later. <laughs> it was great. We still week. aren't sure if he's ever seen the white girl. Yeah, see, yes, like there's man. no way to know. He said in the beginning, he said he never slept with a white girl. He is, and then uh, I think like a month or two months ago, he was like, "Yeah, I did sleep with a white girl." I was like, "Hold hey. the fuck on!" And then I went back in the episode to the first time he said it, and I showed right. that he said he never did it. So he's a fucking his pants are on fire, bro. Any, I'm a lawyer. Any black man that wears that color has slept with the white one. Whoa. Have you ever slept with a Wait, white hold one? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What mauve got to do with white? Mauve is just, it's not a white color, but you could tell that you have been taken outside of your natural boundaries. Low, low, low key, low key. You're just trying to call me light skin <laughs> in like the most coolest way ever. <laughs> Wait, have you slept with a white girl? Fly, bro. I have. So where's your dark skin? Because dark, 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 dark skin guys, we can get away with white that. White girls love dark skin. This is a thing. All right, so they don't like light skin people. Do. And, and it's crazy. Yo, I'm not, not, a, hold on. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Yo, 
Like I'm very like right I'm here. for my sisters. You ready? Like, I love my yeah. sisters. This is a bite. Question to the audience. Mm. Does white women love dark skinned guys? Or how can I put this better? We, they do. It's a fact. It's a fact. But even even tougher. even you want to hear something crazy? <laughs> That'd be exactly what it is. We look. look like so, Tyrone. <laughs> that dad would even like. black women though. Mm -hmm. They gotta. It's a you gotta find the right ones that like yeah. light skinned guys. Yeah, like light skinned guys. So like we're in the same boat as y'all. Question. Like, I was about to ask you. So being a light skinned guy, right? I'm brown skinned, but in, in, in y'all reality, how y'all see me as, maybe. Okay. So light how skin. we see you, yeah, you're that's light some nut shit. <laughs> Like like caramel, you did. So do you you really feel as though you have the same challenges as no a no, white no, man no 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 not 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 necessarily because they ain't got the swag but okay in reality no some of them got swag but in reality it's just you know what I'm saying in, in some do you instances get intimidated around a white guy with swag fuck no okay I'm just asking I'm just for? asking because. That's like y'all kryptonite. Like a girl be like, <laughs> <laughs> like a black girl be like, ah, Joe. No, look. fuck that, dog. Tyrone's because, like, look, <laughs> Theo cool, but ah, Billy's kind of dope too. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> nah, Billy ain't He's just carrying, a couple shades lighter than Billy Theo. Ain't carrying, you know I mean? Billy ain't saying. carrying it like me, though. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like what you're you know saying. what I'm saying? It I just, just saying. like, I can still talk to it. It don't even be me. It right. just be the perception of me. You right. get what I'm saying? Right, it's right, being right, a perception right. of light skin. You but get what I'm saying? It it's, sucks. It's, I'm glad I'm not light skinned. Like, fuck out of here. Man. Way, I was. I hate the, the like in a you know black say, community being light skinned is like it's crazy, bro. Because you get tried. You got to jump over some hurdles. Yeah, it's like you got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you unless you already establish yourself as a certain like like me me personally. If mm -hmm. you know me, you know me. You right. Know that I'm come like they like oh he a cool hey, dude he thorough person. But if you don't. Your first, you mean I still go in places where the first instance is motherfuckers are look like because I'm coming in, I'm dressed okay. You know what I'm saying? You right. come into a situation where a dark, <laughs> a darker guy can walk in the jail. Niggas ain't really paying it no more. Like you walk in, they, fuck is this thing? Like it's like, I why? Know, but what I would tell you this, right? For you, you know what I'm saying? Because it happens to me. It's a, it's, it's, per, it's the perception of look though. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because. I don't look like I'm about to turn 33. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I mean? I don't look. You look 23 at yeah, the most. Yeah, I had a. I had yeah, a, he looked older than me. I had a. I younger had a, than me? I had a. I had he a, looks younger than you. I had a lady tell Hold me. Hold on, let me say what you mean, Mike. Like, nah, man. Look like, at me. I had a lady tell <laughs> me the no other day. Here. I looked like she was like, I mean, she was like 50 something, but she was like, she was like, boy. She's like, boy, you ain't nothing older than 15. I was like, shorty, I'll change. You know what I mean? I'll change your life. Change your you know life. what I'm saying? Talk, talk crazy. But. She thought I was like, really thought I was like twenty one. But you know, yo, what I'm it's saying? crazy. You know, one thing about older women, period. They all, I don't know, like what's up care. with their eyes? Yeah, they don't give a fuck. But they always think you're younger than exactly what you yeah. are. Like why? You, like, yeah. shorty, I told you, I'm thirty. But boy, you twenty two. It's the opposite it, yeah. way. I'm probably sure you look at women though. What? You always assume that they're older than they're actually younger. Like now, I look at women. I'm like, damn, she gotta be like. I don't know how old she is. She probably like thirty. Yeah, if I, I say know. if I see a woman, I go in my head. I go, she's thirty. I go ten years younger, just not to fuck with. Them. Like I don't want to yeah. hurt their feelings. I go, oh, you look about twenty years old. Can I even give you this beer? Yeah, like you, um, this you doesn't happen anymore. By the way, I love you, Ashley. You can't have to. No, you can't have to. You really don't. You don't. You don't nowadays. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because now you don't. Everybody like kind of like with women. Everybody kind of looking the same. Like bracket, low key to me. Mm -hmm. A lot of them kind of look like in the faces is different in, in everybody's in trying to look between twenty eight and thirty. Yo, real, sh it's like it, like that's it. And, and I say that to say those numbers. Cause think about it, when we was twenty one, when we was twenty one, they weren't even like dabbling into like makeup and shit. That it wasn't looking. It was now they just look ten times older just off of. Man, yo, let these girls look. And let me be twenty one right now. I would have like twenty one baby moms. Of pure look, just look alone. Just look alone. <laughs> just look alone. Let me get to know you. I might, ha I might, I might have to be Muslim and get like five wives. So if you were twenty one, you would have twenty one baby mamas. Yes. How many baby mamas do you have now? I only have one. Well, I, I don't let's have do this. Baby mama. Ask me that question again. How many baby mamas do you have? Zero, my man. My so do you have any babies? I do. I have a mother of my child. <laughs> <laughs> play play. Do you guys get along? We good. Listen. When when you know 
you know, we good. You That's know right. what I'm saying? I only asked the question because earlier you said you're not in a relationship. Yeah, I'm not in a relationship. Me and my baby might not together. But I tell you this. I'm currently actively dating. So are are, are you exclusive dating? No. Hey. And I how are you dating? dating? All right, so all right, so this is a great, great question. It's a system to this dating thing. When you turn thirty, so how do you do it? Right. So when you turn thirty, it's I have, like you, you like me. Let's go. So you have <laughs> the women you date, right? That's a one category. The next category, you have a sex partner. So what's the difference between the two? The person you're dating. The people you're dating, you're dating to get to know them. The, your sex partner, that is somebody that you are sexually connected with. That is your sexual median. How do you decipher the like? How do you right. divide the two out? Can no, I? you you have your sexual you have your sexual your sex partner before you even start dating. So can I can I your can sex I? partner is nothing but sexual connection. I yeah, dive chime in. in real quick. Yeah, dive in. So some of your sex, uh, how do you determine it too? People you date sometimes is just people like like I might enjoy just going out with this person, yeah. and getting to know him. You know what I'm saying? Like and every time we went out, like we never fucked or nothing. Well, we just drink, we enjoy our time together and whatnot. Company. It's sexual partner, somebody you already comfortable with. It's like it's like I'm already comfortable with. We're this, not that going we doing, further yeah. than this. Yeah, I mean, even though crazy thing is about that though, sometimes it get to a point where it's like yo, they want to make it more, but. We got an arrangement, and we got no. A and that's that not are. sexual partner. That's somebody that you're sexually dating. That's so, bad. so if women are listening, Wait, no, to this, no, no, it's a no, difference no, between I, sexually I don't, I don't dating somebody so. and sexual and a sexual partner. So, 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 what's the difference? A sexual partner is somebody that you establish, like you have this establishment where you guys are there for each other's sexual pleasure. Bro, bro, bro. a sexual dating is somebody that sees sex and they love the sex, but at some point they're gonna want more, bro. But two different kinds. But listen, I'm telling you. But listen, I understand that. Balance. I understand that. Me and you are on the same page, right? Right. With it, right. It always starts as what we think is just the. But that's not how it's supposed to start. It's po- no, look. It's, it starts as we're just okay. We just sexual needs. Mm-hmm. But you know, through time, through time, especially when you're dating and you. It depends on the boundary set. Okay. Okay. I, I guess. I guess. I'm, te- ah, I'm gonna know. tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Know. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell it to you in this form, right? And you'll get it in this way, right? So you tell a girl, look, right? You and a girl, y'all cool, y'all thorough, y'all been thorough, y'all solid. She's dope, but she's she's not somebody you can settle down with, nor want to settle down with, right? Right? But she's somebody that sets that bar of sexual pleasure for you right right right. now while you're dating you can go out on a date with somebody right spend a couple dollars y'all go eat y'all might go bowling whatever the case may be you're not gonna fuck up that dating cycle by having sex with that person Mm -hmm. because that's where dating fucks up at once you have sex with somebody it's over you're exclusive yeah you're no longer in the dating you're no longer on the market you are exclusively dating now because you've had sex with this person that you've taken weeks, maybe months, to really get to know, really get to feel. Man, you ain't bring me one. You have a full one. He, got a, he got a full one, too. Nope, I'm almost done. No, he's like halfway through the joint. Man. I saw your it. soul above the label. Yo, cuz, I don't care. I always bring me one when you bring him <laughs> one, man. So That's some nut ass shit, man. I never come back <laughs> to this podcast again. I get treated like shit here. <laughs> Anybody need a co host? Theo Doce is on the market. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's I, take a I'm shot. A, I'm now a free you're, agent now you're podcast this. dating. You know what I'm saying? I'm podcast dating. Oh, man. Oh, wait, let me switch. So, women are listening to this and they're going, How do I know? So say they meet a guy and they want to stay towards like being in a relationship, not a sex partner. What do they do differently than they would as a sex partner? You go out. A sex partner literally is for sex. It's literally when you need to blow that steam off. But you need a comfortable vibe while you blow that steam off. Mm -hmm. So you can date four or five people, right, for two weeks. Go on a date tonight with somebody. Go on a date tomorrow night with somebody else. Going to date tomorrow night with somebody else, catch all these different vibes, be like, damn. Low key dating is 
one, man. I ain't gonna it's a fraud. fucking you hell of a time. Because, yo, talk about with dating. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm sorry. You meet with dating when you meet people and you meet different personalities of how uh, like what's fun to them. You mean yeah. sometimes that shit be like, damn, this bitch, that's my it's homie. Different. <laughs> like it'd be like, yo, that fuck with her. That's my homie, like you know what I mean. But as soon as she sleeps with you, does she throw that out soon the window? As, soon as no, you as soon sleep as you with somebody it, you're yeah. dating, yeah. Yeah. soon as you slept with somebody that you have gotten to know, it's real. It's kind of you're real, exclusively yeah. dating. You're supposed to at that time as a man, low key, start cutting off the other girl that you've been dating. So how do they? I'm saying, like, how do, how man, would a woman? Up, man, man, I see you. How I would a woman? I see you. How would That's a woman become the, the number one person on the roster and not be a sex partner? Like, how does chill. she do? You chill. Yeah. Your time. It's all about time. Well, everybody's different, though. You, you can um um. It 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 goes like so. I'm gonna say this. Right. Everybody's different, though, because like you saying, like, how does that woman become like? She'll start like doing different stuff. Like me, I'm a studio rat. Like I'm here twenty four seven. She'll under. Sh- Understanding and just not even just understanding, just, just being show like, her understanding. I'm gonna come chill. I'm gonna handle whatever I gotta do here with you. Mm-hmm. Like, like just starting to be like, yo, what you doing? You about to? I know you about to go to the studio. You mind if I bring some food and come chill? Boom. Facts. It'd be like, wow. Like now mm-hmm. you want to be in my world. So it's like you start to see little shit, just like they start to see little shit. You start to see little shit. You like, oh, alright, yeah, she's trying to get cuffed. Yeah. Yeah. She'll do and stuff he, like. um She'll do stuff like, uh, I got a dope friend of mine. She do stuff like, uh, today is the day of your podcast interview, isn't it? I know you've been waiting for that. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? You got everything you need to get ready? Your hair done? You got everything you need? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You straight? Mm-hmm. That right there gives a do-do-do-do to my antennas that, oh, she's paying attention. Mm-hmm. To me, you know what I'm saying? What it is that I'm doing. A lot of women just, they fall for the shell. County Kravitz, the Chris Mack experience, that's a shell. No, the crazy thing is. Get into Theo. Exactly. That's you all. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get into Theo and, and and let Theo know you trying to get into Theo. Right. A lot of a lot of girls will let Theo know she's trying to get into Theo Doce. Mm-hmm. Because she'll do shit that Theo Doce likes, mm-hmm. not knowing that she sees. Off of what she outside. sees, yeah, I get that. Not knowing that Theo Doce and Theo are two different people. Two different people. No, Theo Doce and TC is two different people. There you go. You yeah, you, man, you know your you aliases. Know I'm just going by. You know what I'm saying? No, real. The talk. same way, I got a few people that I'm dating now, and I let them know, like, yo, don't call me Kravitz or whatever it is, Mac or Crit. Call yo. me Christopher when you talk to me. So the funny thing is, call me that. That you like you saying that, right? I grew up. Coming up, it's TC. Mm. So if you knew me as a kid, all the way up till I was like in college and all, I didn't start really moving to Steel Dolce until 2013, 2014 when I started releasing music. Right. And now everybody so that's your me musical is, persona. But the bad part about it is since I was young, TC, girls that I've met knew my name, my real name. We talked about it, right. Theodore, Theodore Muse. Facts. So girls that I knew as younger when people was calling me TC would always want to be different like I'm a call, Theo 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 and then later right. on that move as Theo it just Doce, it's just like a a whole different ball game so they don't really know TC like, you know what I mean question do you have any aliases Mr. Everybody it's a totally different person than who you are for real for real I think that he really should go with Mr. Everybody on this show fuck Justin Judge Justin Judge is dope but it's I like it it's a different thing He's Mr. a everybody different. Is. I change all everything online who, does not say my name. Who is Mister Everybody? Well, the re- I guess we would come. We would get. How I got to Miss Everybody was basically every time I meet somebody, they go, "I know somebody like you. You look like my friend. You look like this guy. You act like this guy. You sound like this guy." I like. I'm that. fucking everybody. But that and itself a, is a brand, and that like goes into it even that. more. Everybody's through, been through like, if we're going with the podcast, everyone's had their heart broken. Everyone's. I've been through a divorce. You know, people have all been through terrible relationships. Mm-hmm. So it gets even deeper with it if we're do- going back into the podcast. Talking about, and I don't need to drift off on this, and when, Sam, when Sipping with Sammy watching this, he's going to be like, there you go, Kravis with that bullshit. Question, how did you get over a heartbreak? Podcast and drinking myself damn near to death. How did you get over a heartbreak? Um, keeping myself busy. Um, music, just creating. 
How did you get over a heartbreak? Music. Music is a bit, dude. Jordan music Lucas, is... Jordan Lucas, almost saved me. There's a lot of songs that saved me, but Jordan Lucas, like I was like, have you guys listened to Jordan Lucas? I do. I do listen to Jordan. I do so listen to. Jordan. We've talked about a lot of musicians here. I don't think we've ever like talked about Jordan Lucas. I fucking He's love him. Amazing. The song "I'm Sorry," amazing. I never heard that. I'm gonna listen He's a to it when I leave rap, and that's why I like him. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not racist. I can see what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He's visual. I can he's see what he's saying when he raps. I when, love it. When you so go when you get home tonight, everybody. When you get done watching the show, YouTube, join the Lucas. I'm sorry. I'm going to listen to it when I leave out here. You got to watch, in the car. but I want you to watch the music video. Ooh, all right, I'm away. I want I'm you to watch it because Jordan so Lucas is video. really into music videos. That's he's what like, I'm saying visually, yeah. he's one of the top ridiculous. artists ever. There's that. There's the song "I'm Not Racist." That's a great one. That's a good joint. Um, what's Snitch is a good one. There's a lot of great music videos that he does, but "I'm Sorry" I think is the best one. And I don't know how I found it. I guess I was just going through like suicide music because I was pretty close to kill myself. Mm. And "I'm Sorry" came up, and it's about. I'll give a vague description of what it's about. It's about two brothers. Right. One brother kills himself, and the other brother gives, like, like I can't believe you did this. You know, they go through both, like, mindsets of what go- what goes into, like, suicide. Mm. So it's a fucking great no, song. But you need to I'm listen. You need to watch the video. I watch it on my TV. Like, you need to watch it. On, like, it's just amazing. What's the first music video that kind of got you in your feelings? Um... um and it was like late in the game too. Um, Lil Wayne. Um, oh my God, what's the little joint? Um, How to love? N- How to love? That's mine. That's mine. How's it go? I know the song. Yeah, How, to How to love? love. How to How love? love. Yeah, I can't think of it right now. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get with. I'm sorry. Like, like I literally. How to love? Was, How you to mean love. the whole con? Like the whole concept of the song, the visual, everything about it yeah. was just like amazing. That shit made me like, cry. Yeah, it was it was one of them type of visuals, man. It yeah. was definitely a dope yeah. visual. There's a that's lot of songs. Crazy, like, you said that. Yeah, how to love. That's mine. Crazy. There's yeah, a mine. lot of songs that go into like a breakup. Like there was like different stages. Like yeah, but like podcasts were the way I found like because so I went through the music first, right? right. Shout out to you, man. Because I ain't gonna lie, coming on this podcast, mm-hmm. that was the first time like I actually like talked about that shit publicly, yeah. and I was just a guest. And, I mean, we talked about it, and I was like, uh, I you know, love your kinda, story. And kind of getting started through as that a shit. guest, now you're the co host. Yeah, dope. you know what I'm saying? So it was That's like, fire. how that shit hit, you know what I mean? I appreciate you because I, I ain't never really talked about it. And then as we episodes got on, I gradually talked about it more and more and more and more and more. Yeah. And it kind of low key helped me like release a lot of that shit. It helps so much uh, to talk. But, I went through group yeah. therapies, I did all that shit, but this helps more. I spent, so, so I'm sorry, I knew you had a question Podcast and all that, but I spent. I don't know if we talked about this, but at the beginning of my breakup, I spent more more times, more times just sitting in one spot in the house for hours. No, we didn't talk about this. What, what spot in the house? The living room. When I just I had just moved into this house, nothing was there. Like it, so, she crazy. was never there. No. So That's when good. I left the apartment, I moved into a crib. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? One of my my close friends, one of my best friends. The place, same place you live now. Yeah. Okay. You mean you know? Uh, shout out to. Them. My dog, um, but you mean he had the spot? I got it from him, rented it from him. Like, all right, come on. Uh, I sat in the living room. I'm talking about. Uh, I had the. I had set up the back room for me. All my clothes and everything set in the living room for months, mm-hmm. and I just sat in the living room. I slept in the living room. I woke up, kind of turned in the, the TV same on. chair in the same seat. Same chair. I mm-hmm. used to fall asleep in. I used to go up brush my teeth. I was working a little overnight job, but. I sat in that same spot because the day that I moved in that joint, it's crazy. The day that I moved in that motherfucker from after that shit, I had went to work. <laughs> I mean, I was really in a down spot. I went to work. I was working at, like, Walmart. I remember this. Yeah, you went to fucking work and got fired. Yeah. <laughs> like, the day that I, like, moved all my shit out the crib, I went to the work and got mm-hmm. fired from that bitch. Coming back. So I'm coming back to the crib. I'm just smoking. I'm just sitting and staring at the wall. I'm talking about like hours go by just staring at the wall. So I start having to pit it like a schedule together. Like, you'll get up, go run. Mm-hmm. Or I was in like real good shape though. Mm-hmm. I was in good shape. I was doing push ups, sit ups. You know what I'm saying? Six pack was on eight. Oh shit. I mean, fuck See, the bear. It was just all weed, running, eating well. I stopped eating meat. I was just like but focused. You, you got lucky. So when you go through a breakup, there's literal skeletons that you have to find. So with you, so you went through a breakup, but you got to move out, right? Mm-hmm. Dang. When I went through a, a divorce, I'm still finding shit to this day from that bitch. Oh, shit. Pictures, uh, 
socks, whatever it is. It's just when you get a house and you move everything into it, you just find literal nooks and crannies. Yeah. It's just shit from her. And it's still, I'm good. Like, I'm low key. You low know, key. I'm happier than I was when we started the podcast. Together. Low key. We went out for my birthday one year and uh, my mom had got for these something we had. My mom had got these like fans and shit made with me and my ex on it. And when she was pregnant at the time, right? Mm. So. It, I think it was for our baby shower or whatever it was, but um, it's Gilbert? crazy. It's crazy. Corona, I huh? still be like, like that shit is in my room. You know what I'm saying? Like that that picture, and I always come across it like every once in a while. How I do you throw that shit out? I never know where it is, but every time I'm cleaning or something, I always run into Fine this shit. shit. Yeah, like, and but I never throw I it out. I ain't that. gonna lie to. You. I never throw it out, and it's not more of a, a, yeah. a cinema. But like me and her, we cool. Like I got a, we got a, 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 a okay relationship. Like. Like that's my homie. At one point, it was homies. Like we don't talk as much as we doing, but f- everything for our kid, we just cool. We had a great space. Like mm. it's all still family. But I can't. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I be asking myself the same questions. Like yo, throw this shit away. But why won't you? You know what I mean? Like why won't you throw it away? Cause you, it's not even that you still want the person still. I did. Yeah, I think that's what I it got, is. I go through my Google Photos right now. I can go through these joints and like I'll see. The one person that I don't want to see. Maybe you, I should. Throw I deleted that all that shit yeah. right away. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I should throw that shit away because I, I, that might be a. If you think about it, that might be a little hold on you. You know what I'm saying? Because not, how, like, how do you ever expect to move on if you're gonna keep running into this? Like, imagine you got a girl now and you just keep running into this picture. Like, you gonna throw it away or like what are you waiting on? Well, I look at, I look at, I look at. Um, memories are important to me. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a big person. That, I'm a big fan of <laughs> memories. are fucking See, poison. my daughter, she not even born yet. Nah, she right there in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm a big fan of memories. You know what I'm saying? And I feel as though, um, regardless who the memory belongs to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Memory belongs to you. You know what I'm saying? And every memory has shapes you to be who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So, to delete a memory is to delete a part of you that that understands what love is and what love isn't. You know what I'm saying. And I think that's why a lot of people continue to go through the cycle because they're so busy deleting shit that they're not adding shit and really mm-hmm. recognizing the shit that they're you know what I mean facing. I keep Look. everything. I got shit from. Ever. Don't 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 get me wrong. Like is it is a couple like one of the pictures I did throw away though because some water got onto it and it was just like ah, I just don't look right anyway. So I gotta go. It was stained. Yeah, it was stained. It had to go. The only stained. thing I still have from that part of my life, I threw most of my clothes away. I threw the coat. That's that was. I changed. I told you. I told. I talked about it on the show. I've changed, changed everything. The I image. I changed literally how I put on my clothes. I put my shoe my shoes on left to right now. Same thing with the pants. <laughs> you think about everything life, different. Fucks you up, bro. You think about life way too much. If you gotta, I pin my. Shoes I don't think about it anymore. But in the up. beginning, it's habit. It, it, yeah, it becomes it a habit. I had to like. I was like, I can't ever go through that again. Change routine. I wanted like I would never survive that again. So I was like, what I'm gonna do is change who I am and change who I was in my mind mm. to be happy now. Yo, it's crazy you see that. It's crazy you see that because uh, mm. that's heavy. I'm gonna be honest. Running into a uh, like, where I'm at in life now, a lot of women that I do run into that, like, you know, like, we hit it off and we cool, they all kind of do got, like, s- similarities. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, the same type person. It's, like, why you keep running into the same type person? You're not running into the same type person. That's who you like. You That's like the, that it's kind like, of person. Yeah, it's like. You just but, can't fix that kind of person. But. Everybody trying to fix each but other. But everything about this person, right? Hear me out though. Everything about this person, it's not sexual. That makes sense. She you makes good brownies, saying? kind of thing. Nah, it's it's like she just vibes. everything. Everything about her is everything. She's just amazing. Yeah, like it's not sex. What like if you were to like, so for me, a lot of my relationships or a lot of the girls I've, I've dealt with my life, they're like more like tomboyish. Where I, I like a girl who can like care for themselves yeah. and stuff like that. Is there like a brand of girl you guys kind of like deal with all the time. It could be like 
their music. Yeah, I don't see, know. So, like, so the, the the ones that I run into, I'm gonna let you get to you. Uh, yeah, I'm quick. trying to think. But the ones that I run into is is like that. They like tomboys. They can dress <laughs> like this, mm-hmm. but they're prissy. They're they're um, like I. It's like like not high did Like just imagine somebody that's like high did or or like uh, you would think would be conceited and feeling themselves, but mm-hmm. very down to earth. It's just mm-hmm. the image of how you see them mm-hmm. if you don't know them. Them type people, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. keep running to them. Petite, slim. Like, it, it's just the same shit mm-hmm. over and over again. What about you, Kravitz? I'm, uh, I keep running it. I like, I like a go-getter. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just women that just, they just passionate about something. So it's weird that you say that because we're obviously all at this table of go-getter too. Right. Do you find a lot of women start off as enjoying like your drive, but then start to get annoyed with how much yeah. you put into your drive? Yeah, it's time. Well, let you find. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, do your thing, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's time. Women, women. The one thing women, the one thing women need from men is time. Right now, that time shit come with some shit. If a man got a lot of time, he's probably broke. Or not, uh, un, you know, I you know what I'm saying? Because even a man that's getting a check while he sleep still has to make shit happen so that he gets that check while he sleep. Mm-hmm. Except for the nine to five guy, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep it a hundred. A nine to five guy got time when he ain't even, got nothing else going on. Even a nine to five guy, he might got time, but he don't give the time. Yeah. Shoot, I'm a nine to five guy, but I got this because too. you gotta remember got remember from nine to five, on. he's giving somebody else his time. Mm-hmm. So he, when he gets off, he's trying to find time for himself as well. You know what I'm saying? So the only time that's given is a man that's a man that controls his time. So, look. And those are the happiest women. I don't like, this won't sound crazy. Now fuck it. I'm not a huge fan of nine to five women. I don't, they don't understand what we do. Exactly. So... And when I was talking about the people that. that I run into a lot, a lot of them are like, have you not, I'll get two jobs and work, 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 I work, hate work, work. that. And then when it comes to me. I hate two doing jobs. me having to bust my ass, you know, like the timing. Because you work in two jobs and like our timing won't ever. It will add never up. add up. Never. Add up. And, and, and that'd be like another part of the downfall of the woman I run into. Now, I always I said that. that I wish, I just want, I want somebody that can sit in the stool with me. Like, I don't mind going out with you and doing whatever, but I want somebody that could come in into my my world and do them in my world, like do, or d- does something in the field of the same type of time. Like if I if I met a singer or Are a songwriter that I was about to and say, we can just rock. Oh my god, and they, and they blow a little tree and they just kick it and they just oh my gosh, come I'm through, tell you, mommy. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this from the rib. You're never going to find that. it ever. Like they're like. The women in this in, in our in, in the music industry in specific, they're driven. Just you know like what us. I'm saying? Just like the men. So it's like it's never so gonna be It's not not saying never is never, but you have to find No, no, I'm no, a no, sniper, no, no, bro. No, no, I'm no, a, fuck I'll that. tell you this. That. You don't have to find nothing. It has to find you. You have to find a median. It has to find with you. somebody. Somebody's gonna find you. It's gonna no. fall in your lap, just like it's every. Not. I feel. Talk about C C C now. Look, you it's not, no, bro. It, it's, not in our, not in our field, bro. All right, not, but in, not in our field, industry. but but just 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 in general of the person you are, I feel like it's gonna find you if you put it out in the universe. Like if you, all right, look, 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 look put it like this, put it like yeah, this, from put it like eight this. different states and countries. Right, exactly, put it like this, right? Look, put it like this. Everything we're doing right now, right? And you kind of, kind of have tunnel vision on what you're doing, and you kind of just like put that in the universe, like, Facts. and in your head, you're not even like speaking it, but you're just in your head, like, I just want to find somebody that's for me. I but you're not eight. focusing. You're going to be like, <laughs> hey, you're a tunnel vision, and this I'm going to fall in the, like, oh my god, who are you? No, eight go. of them are going to fall into. <laughs> I'm, what I'm telling, but you got to pick one. No, you don't got to pick one. Okay. This dude goes out there with a the fishnet. I'm, yeah, yeah, like, it's, <laughs> what I'm saying is when you're, when any man, right, any man, no matter his race, no matter n- his pockets, no matter nothing, he could be broke as shit. Any man with tunnel vision, with tunnel vision, with true tunnel vision, 
is going to attract women at an abundance. It's his job to funnel through those women. Yeah, I'm get, I can tell I'm getting older. Because Telling you, bro. <laughs> they, I ain't even going to lie. You right. You right. Like, you're, like you're they're, 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 eight, you can date. You can be. You can know eight. I know I can name eight different women that are thorough as hell right now. And all eight are from different parts of the United States and out the country. Then maybe I need to move out of the country <laughs> or out of the United States. You know what I'm saying? You know what, I'm saying? I, what I'm saying is... In a field, you're in a field where it's at a. Everybody's is ambitious. Everybody's focused. It's my last one. So. We, let's all do. Do we have enough for one last one for everyone? Yeah, I got enough for one last one. You got one. In, you got something in there? I got a little something. Oh, okay. I don't know how much. Whatever is left, you can. Theo can let take. Let me see. You you got. Let me see. Let me see. Let no, me see. if you don't got, I got a little something. Oh no, he's good. I'm Gucci. So we talked about like uh, how me and Theo came to be. Basically, uh, I really. Enjoyed our conversation because Theo opened up. You've opened up a lot here, too. Theo do. All right, now, fuck Theo. Never mind, fuck him. So what happened What what happened with your baby mama? Stop uh, calling her the baby mama. Stop it. Child's mother. With the mother of my child. So, Thank you. Yo, to be honest, you know, she lives in D.C. I live in PA. I was living in Virginia at the time. I wanted her to move up. As a man, I really couldn't do that. I really can't handle that responsibility for for at that time. What distance? No, being Daddy? having her up here, away from her safety nets and stuff like that. Mm. Being the only safety net as a man at that time, I can't handle. Hmm. How old is your kid? I can only say that now, though. How old is your kid? He's five. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. I can only say that now. Yeah. I would have never said that. Two, mm-hmm. three, at four, twenty-seven. Five. Yeah, you mm-hmm. went and said it. Yeah, I went and said it at twenty-seven. Yeah. So, did, do you guys like still like you and your kid? Do you guys like get a Facetime? Like, does the mom? Let oh you? yeah, I get him. I get him. I get him every month. Oh, that's awesome. I get him every month. I drive down there and get him. I, like, I live on the road. That's what I mean. Like, I live. Yeah, on you the always road. in Baltimore. Speaking yeah. of that, I need to get out. I'm there. always in Baltimore. Like, nah. Baltimore. I love Baltimore. Baltimore's a lot of fun. We're not bringing him. Yeah, Baltimore. I got Baltimore. What the fuck? I'm not bringing him. Why can you not bring me to Baltimore? Yeah, I bring you to Baltimore. Baltimore I'll take you to Boston. I'll change my hat. I'll take you don't, to Boston. Don't judge the hat. No, we'll be in Boston. You can look just like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not going to Baltimore, though. You know I don't love Baltimore. They shot we the can take him to there. Baltimore. He good, though. He good. He good. Oh, he's saying you good. So he go good. there with Teddy Bear. Wait, are you saying I'm not good? <laughs> I feel like Theo's like, <laughs> like Sam. Theo's scared. Are Teddy you scared to vouch for me? <laughs> are you scared to vouch for me? No, I'm, I'll take you anywhere with me, bro. You mean we're going to run down on shit together. But Theo never invited me to a barbecue. I invited him to one Bro I ain't even had No barbecues this summer Alright that's fair though like, what? Yeah. But when we had The barbecues here Come here Just don't wear that hat <laughs> Let the ball <laughs> I have other Tell me If you let the body flow They'll give you more They you know will They'll, they'll you be like Oh yeah you got the body And the beard no, no, Nobody that. likes the bald head With the beard no, Besides about, girls about, you gotta, Girls you gotta, do you gotta, like it a lot You gotta dye it black though You gotta dye what You gotta dye it black I would never dye anything Anything That's like It's like blackface With black bearding that's not black face no, if you got a black, black beard. beard. Oh my gosh. Stone I'm black cold. bearding you? D- fucking racist, bro. Stop, stop. <laughs> You're being stone cold. racist. Stop, stone cold. What? You're too deep into it. What? You're thinking too deep into that one. Oh my God, I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt myself. But you know, we Gucci. Me and, my, me, me, and, me and Cody's mom, you know, she's she's amazing. She's like. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. My daughter, mom, all that. She's fucking amazing. She's a, uh, she's a, uh, um. Other than just like a relationship shit, as a person and what she does, like how she makes sure everybody's cool, not just with me and my kid, but just a family person. Like that's my homie. She's very, very dope. Like she, uh, the love that she gets from everybody is definitely uh, all that. Like she's really dope. Yeah. Her, like, I can say that. You know what I'm saying? I got a good one. People can't say that. People just cannot say can. that at all. They can't. I have a. I have they an can. amazing. My, my my daughter's mom is amazing, especially so. I'm so I'm grateful for that. Shout out to God. You know what I mean you put that one in my life? Yo, facts. Yeah, duh. It because is because I ain't got to deal with the job. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy because it's that, crazy because you know my baby mom. She don't hear like Cody's mom don't hear this often. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I praise her on the daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like I, I it am takes the same a way. it takes a certain kind. It takes a certain kind of woman to be to be thorough in times where times ain't always thorough. Mm, mm, mm. 
Exactly. Mm. Theo took one by himself. He's fucking selfish. I held it, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, but there was somebody it. else who did it. I can't remember who it was. It takes it. It takes a certain kind of woman to, you know, to to have a certain tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Listen, and man. Wait, wait, I appreciate wait. her from, from the bottom of my heart. I love her today. What I can say is... If I'm I could be with her, I would. <sighs> no. I would. I would be with my baby mom if I could. I I I, if I I felt I the could. same way. I felt the same way. If I, could. I don't think is I don't think. Yeah, yeah. That, I ain't even gonna lie. I felt the same way saying? early on. I felt yeah. the same way. Like if I if I, I, I could, that. if I could put myself in a position, but how my life was going, period. I knew it would never. Now happen. It, yeah. it can't work. Like like even it even, can't work at this moment. Maybe down the line. Talking about, did you think about that? Though? Right now it can't work. Like when you broke up with her, did you think that we y'all could ever get back? Did you have any thoughts of that? Mm. So when the divorce was first starting, oh, you uh, divorced? Yeah, he's like divorce, divorce. Like this is oh. where the podcast. Oh, you don't really know. Loving them, what? No. This is what loving them, what it was. All right, so, so give me. Can, can I? Get, no, no, no. Just catch him up. How loving them, what came? Like where yeah, loving where, them, what Where did up? this? Where did loving them? I, I, and and, and make gonna, it quick. Look, like, to like Sammy's going to look at this and he's going to be like, "Yo, this motherfucking Kravis is he does it. I do it on his show all the time. I ask him questions." So real Where did fast, this come from? uh went through a marriage and a less than a year divorce. I'm a fucking statistic. Um after the breakup or divorce, I was like really suicidal. I I've never really gotten into this part of it. So there should be some nuts and bolts that I'm gonna get into now. Right. But then I got into podcasting because I was listening to podcasts. I wanted to hear some other shit, drinking, so on and so forth, funny videos. That's why bitches be crazy, all these kind of things. But so at the end, I was going through like a lot of therapy mm. because I was drinking, my, I was trying to kill myself with like alcohol, which is like the, a lot of people say is like, you're not really trying, you're kind of reaching out, but which I kind of was like, I wanted help Try from help. somebody, but I didn't have any friends. Like I didn't know anybody. Like when, you go, when you're married, you're like, you pretty much cut everyone out. I cut everyone out for that. Cut everyone out for my relationship. And when I was going through therapy, she hit me up. I can't remember how she changed her number. And then she texted me. I can't remember how it happened. But I was like, hey, I'm in therapy now. Like, if you want to try to go through this couple's, like, therapy, like, I'm down. Because I would have done anything to get her back. Like, I would have killed myself just for her to never feel pain in my life. Like, that was, like, my goal. Like, I feel that minus the killing yourself part. Like, I would I would have died for her any second of the day. I felt that. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm, like, talking to my uh, therapist. I was like, hey, so I'm thinking about bringing my girl here. Like, would you guys be cool with that? He was like, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea, but you can. And she strung me along for like a week. And then she's like, I text her. I was like, hey, so therapy is supposed to be today. She didn't hit me up for therapy. Then the whole, like I text her like, hey, I'm here. Where are you? She didn't say anything. Next day I text her, didn't say anything. Next day I text, and this is someone I was married to like less than two months ago. And I never got an explanation of why the relationship ended. Never. So she uh, finally hits me and goes, sorry, I've been busy. Who the fuck are you talking to? You've been busy? I bought you a house, a car, you got a job. You worked at the dollar store before you fucking met me. You didn't even have a bed to sleep on before you met me. Who the fuck are you talking about? I've been busy. So I said to her, she, when she said, sorry, I've been busy, I was like, you are the most evil person that's ever existed. And she just said, thank you. And I blocked her. After that, I was like, starting a podcast. I'm going to get this bitch. What's up, whore? And here we are today. Mm. There's a lot of, I haven't went to the full nuts and bolts of what I always took about from that I podcast that. is like the money that one thing that always stood about was like the money that you said that you saved up to do that thing for her mm -hmm. and then you just use it for a podcast. Some people wouldn't have did that to invest in themselves to get them to a, a level to get past something. Mm. They would have just spent that money on just Oh, let me go get fucked up. Let me go buy this and let me do this. You you invested in yourself. Like to make it, on that yeah, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, yeah, just doing nut shit to do something. Some niggas probably would have put a hit out on it. But uh I thought about killing myself and the family. So no. I, so the money that he's talking about is I saved a bunch of money up. She was an orphan from Russia. And I don't think any any child should ever be orphaned, but she should have been fuck her. Go kill her. Anyway, so <laughs> she can die today, it'll be the best day of my life. Hey. But she was orphaned from Russia, so I, I I looked into, like, her parents before being an orphan. I looked into going to the orphanage, looked into buying a trip to Russia, hotels, cars, where to stay, all kinds of shit. And then, like, right when I was about to, like, present, like, the idea to her, 
she left. So thank fucking God. Now the money went into making me happy. I got my current relationship. I got a podcast. Fuck out of here. You know what's crazy about that? What's crazy about that is when you think about it, love really ain't shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like but, marriage is a partnership, not a... But, but when love is developed the right way, it's everything. I think love is the most important thing we'll do in our lives. Yeah. And I agree with that. So, you develop a certain love for a person. You falling in love is just saying that you're somebody I actually see myself being with. Or just I just love being around you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just your I love can see really myself. Me yeah, like joy with you and only you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's you, the in love part. Do you love any uh like even women you like this is a real question. Women you date, women you don't even deal with anymore, do you love them? I have I have a certain type of love for different women. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a I got a dope homie from DC. You know what I'm saying? I love her to death. Like I'll do anything for. Right. I got somebody from here, Philly, that I'll do anything for. I got somebody in Baltimore. No, there's a couple. You know what I'm saying? Like that. that I'll do anything for. I run for the. I run through a North brick Carolina, wall for a couple et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like a. But. I don't. I think that my. My position in this world is to be a vessel. I think my job is to be an example. You know what I'm saying? So I'm an example of of something that you will. Or may never have. You sound like Sammy. That's me. Yeah, I mean, he comes Sammy's from in a relationship though, so he doesn't count. What's the I'm worst like thing Sammy. you've ever lost to an ex? The worst thing I ever lost. My heart lost. Yeah, that was about it. Like they kept from you. My heart. Yeah, my it, their heart. I didn't go, that was a crazy. If they, their heart kept from if, me is their heart. Is their heart? What I ever lost. Whatever I lost. I ain't gonna lie. No, 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 no. I lost myself. Mm. I lost myself. I, I got to a point where, uh, like, I'm a very confident in in being to myself. And, and oh, Start look, guessing, se oh second guessing gosh. yourself. Yo, now that it, it makes a lot of sense, right? Um, before you get to this, I'm sorry. I just gotta get this. Damn, out yo, losing that. myself is real because I feel like I lost myself to my ex. And when I say similarities, with the people I date is like. Sometimes I come into these situations talking to these people on that type of time. Like, you're like, I already lost myself to this type of person before. And it's like, you come in, like, blind and scared and mm. nervous. And it's like, ah, I don't want to give too much of that. But, yeah, the most is I think I lost was myself because I never, mm. I never was, like, insecure about anything. I never was second-guessing myself. Um, but as soon as I started to become, like, an entrepreneur and then I fall flat on my ass and homeless and shit. I started looking at life a whole lot different. Like I started looking at it like, like damn, like I ain't shit. Yeah. Like who this motherfucker got this and even even people around you. You mean one thing that I can Facts. say though is music. God, I really appreciate you in giving me a talent and a purpose. Facts. Because without the talent and the purpose of what you gave me, I would have never got through none of this bullshit. Because the talent and purpose you gave me always gave me more shit to work with. Let go. Put my headphones on my computer and I just made magic. And I just spent eight hours out of my day straight looking at this computer, mm. changing my perspective of my life. No, you really are here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So that used to give me shit to get up for. Like, yo, you made this dope shit today. Music. I was about to ask you, when you make, like, good music, does that change, like, how you see your life? You want to hear something funny? A lot of the music I make be my real life subconsciously. Mm -hmm. So when I make it at the time, I'm not even thinking about my life, like, where I'm at at the present moment. But subconsciously, something just hit me about this one song, and it's Facts. out there. And it just came out subconsciously. Like, damn, I don't even... People ask me, like, damn, were you, you talking about somebody on that song? No, that shit just came to me. Like, I don't know how... 
But a year or two later, you go back to that song, but I remember that part of my life. (laughs) (laughs) It'd be real like that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to get my bunch. I like it. So we were talking about... Dun, dun, dun. Loving them what real news that has happened in the past. A TikToker, Uziel Martinez from Baja, California, Mexico, said he had heroically stepped in to save his ex-mother by donating his kidney. After donating the kidney to his mother-in-law, his ex left him less than a month later. After going viral on TikTok, he addressed the attention, insisting... He was over the breakup, and there was no bad blood between him and his ex. He said, actually, I'm fine. I'm emotionally fine. I think so is she. I have nothing against her. We are on good terms. We are not friends, but neither do we hate each other. I only did it to make it to TikTok. I didn't think this was going to get out of control. So he gave his kidney to his what he thought was his mother-in-law. She left him... The girl he was dating left him less than a month later. Yeah, they And I asked them. you about the wow. how, what's the worst thing you ever lost to an ex? I never he literally like lost kidney. a piece of himself. Yeah, he, he he they got finessed. He got finessed. When we say we lost our heart, we mean figuratively. <laughs> 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 we don't mean literally. Like we literally be took here. his kidney. That's crazy. That's bad, actually. Like I, he's a for for he's an idiot. I just found this this word out that uh, a couple months ago I heard somebody call somebody a simp, and I'm yes. like, what is that? Mm-hmm. And the they, word. They broke it down to me. And simple I was like, nigga. So he's a simp. Yeah, no, it's a simple nigga. Yeah, I get yeah. it now. You know, the young folks got a lot of do, new shit that I like. Yo, shout out. I won't say it though. I won't say a lot of flying shit. Flying dog. I don't like flying dog. I don't like none of IPAs and shit. Like all that shit. This is an IPA. Um, I don't no, know. it might not Probably. be, but I don't all, know. I, if it was, I was gonna say shut up. Sip. I, you I, like that shit? You like I bear? Actually, I like. I don't like you beer. A bear man. That's why you dress like a bear today, cause you're a bear man. No, I hate beer. You're a bear man. But Listen you like this is. beer? It's a good beer. I, I like. I like beer. the brown though. This it's is nice. Not you know a saying? bad beer. It's a good Yo, beer. Kravitz. It's a though. good beer. I'm only. I look, got to ask you a serious question. When in Rome, you ask. Got to ask you a question, bro. Ask me a question, my man. You know what I'm saying? It's between us. Do you have a turtleneck on? I do. <laughs> I do. A I brown do. joke. Yeah, you should have a chain. Wait, do you think white it. people wear I, it then? No. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the chain around that turtleneck. Come on, come he on. an uncle for real. Come on, he's an uncle. Look, turn around, show him the uncle. He's <laughs> an uncle. Come on, yo, Uncle I Kravitz. Got, come on, yo, Uncle Kravitz is in the. Uncle building. Kravitz with our cab driver, Judge. Where y'all going? I love it. Oh, that's the Boston to yo. the moon. Hey, Boston guys. Boston guy. What was that? Yo, talk about that was one of our episodes. Yeah, I say Boston. Boston. I don't know. Boston. We've had so many episodes. Boston guys. Who said that? Oh, it was probably the Boston. Chad Possible. And we've had so many fucking episodes. Because he was on a joint. Yo, who we getting on here for uh, the 69th episode? I have to look into it. I have to look at my phone to see no, who this is. Never mind. What kind I can't of, get into that one too much. That's a big. I don't, don't want to open what them kind of, words. What kind of? So I got a question. Another question for you guys. What's up? Another question for you guys. Yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve with the opposite sex? Oh, I have three. Go ahead. Do you think though? I'm gonna go to bathroom. Damn. I got three. Biggest pet peeve. Biggest what? pet peeve. Are we talking about like somebody lives with us or just like in general with in general? It's with the opposite sex. I mean, well, you in a relationship. So what are your three pet peeves with your with my current with your partner? current partner? Your three pet peeves. She she probably won't watch this far into it. And if she does, I'm sorry. I love <laughs> um leaving any dish in the sink drives okay. me insane. Rinse okay. it off. We have a dishwasher. I lived for a long time without a dishwasher. Right. So the fact that dishes are in the sink. Really gets to me because it's like, bro, just rinse that shit off. It's easy. I understand. Not folding clothes when they come out from the dryer. Now I have to wear wrinkled clothes for the whole week. Now I have to wear wrinkled clothes for the whole week. You iron it. Iron? Who the fuck owns an iron? Just put it in the dryer. You put it in the little dryer, fold it, it's done. I own an iron. I iron all my clothes. It's insane to me. Um, I iron everything. Trying to think. So I went through dirty dishes, not folding clothes. <sighs> White people shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that putting shit. mayonnaise on my tuna fish. No, that's, that's I, shit. Those are like my two big ones. To do. We was raised to do three things. Niggas don't even eat things. mayonnaise. 
Niggas was raised to do three things. Black people were raised to do three things. Wash dishes. Wash dishes. Wash clothes. Fold clothes. <laughs> and fucking do at your toes. Yeah, Maybe I should be dating a black girl. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Oh, I love you, man. It's like, no. <laughs> Those are the three things that, like, if you ask any black man, yo, what are you raised on? They're going to take it out trash. If you ask a black man, take and it taking out, out the trash. Trash is never a, is a must. You get wake up, woke up out of sleep like six o'clock in the morning. Don't get that damn trash out my. Yeah, man. I tell this. I tell this to all women right now. You'll lose your girlfriend off of not taking the trash out. You lose your girlfriend off of not putting the seat belt. I mean, it's all the seat down. Facts. If somebody actually shit. said that to me, I'd be pissed. I'm like, what is this? A fucking comedy trash? No, but certain in reality, things, you certain things that the black man way. you're supposed yeah. to do. You, you don't let your way. woman be outside at nighttime around wild animals. So I ain't even gonna That's lie to my you. Mom That's I, I can can I say that though? That was one of uh uh I, I had a problem. Um so you know, studio time, we get in, in and out certain times of the night. Right. So that was an issue coming in. But one thing I can say is that uh and I apologize for this shit. Uh, her getting off at, on a late night and picking up my daughter and still coming in the crib and I'm sleep like dead sleep in the crib when they come in at like mm. five in the morning or something. That's a no no and I did that a few times and that mm. shit wasn't cool. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I can say that as a man up. that I, I I should have been up, but you know, my, my schedule was fucked up. But it's no excuses. No excuses. I was about to say no, it's no excuses, but sometimes you know I mean? my schedule was sometimes, fucked up. Sometimes if they thorough and I'll say this, if they throw, they'll understand. But it just happened too many times. Too many. And and, and I'm not sense. saying that on her end. I'm saying it's it on my, my end. end. Like, that's different. I woke up like, damn. Like, what the fuck? I should have been up. Almost like, I need to shit. have something have me up. You know what I'm saying? So, Almost to know that shit. Pet peeve, though. Back to your question before Facts. you get to your end. What's your pet shit. peeve? The pet peeve is, uh, um, damn, I had everything in the bathroom. When I was being, I had it <laughs> broke all the way the fuck down. Now I don't remember shit. What's your pet peeves now? Since you've been out here the whole time not peeing in the bathroom. Mind your business, Boston guy. My pet peeves. Hey. A woman? Yeah. The same. You asked oh, the okay. question, bro. Same what the fuck you talking not, about? Not knowing what you want to eat. Right? Look, look. So I'm, I'm going to say this. Give me. No. I'm going to tell you why. I feel that. I'm going to tell you why it bothers me. That. Because give me three things. Just give me three things. I say that. I always say. Give me three things. I always say, pick, what would like, you eat in the world? The whole world. Like, like, if you about, said apples, I would say, all right, I'll go to a fucking orchard. Whatever you want. Talk Whatever about, the fuck you'll eat, I'll whatever. go and find it. If you give me three things, right? I feel that. You give me three that, things, bro. I can listen to your three things and say, what am I in the mood to eat? So if you give me three things, if your three things that you okay. want, I'll, I'll be like, okay, you know what? I like this. Or this might be closer to the crib. Or, I can see that. This is like, I know how to do it. Just let me know that. I can see that. Just give me three things. I hate the, I don't know what you want. To, yo, come on, man, with the bullshit. I can eat anything right now. But if I go get what I want, you might say, right. I don't want it. I don't want that. I don't want that. I didn't want that. No. I told you I wanted it. Yeah. I could have went to the poppies and got some chicken nuggets. What about I, you, Craft? My pet peeves is extra shit. If I say, what you doing? You say nothing. How about you? I say nothing. You want to, you know, you should come over. Or you want to come over. I don't need no extra shit. I need a okay or no. I always hated that. So in high school, like I hosted parties a lot. Right. And if so, I'll be like, hey, I'm ha I got a keg tonight. Like uh, we're in high school. There should be no other questions asked. I that's said, it. hey, I got a keg tonight. You coming over? Who's going to be there? You're not invited anymore. And that's the You're not shit. invited You're anymore. Not Don't to be there. fucking ask me another question. <laughs> You're done. Hey, yeah. You're never invited again. Just come over. Yeah. I got a keg in high school. Just watch my shit okay. on my stories, bitch. I'm on my way. Why? Because I'm not going to get a keg at my fucking house where I'm at right now. Yeah. Like, it's, it's that, that question drove me Facts. crazy in high school. Like, I never ask the question. Like, if you said, who's going to be there? You're that, not invited. Never mind. I agree with Questions that. like that still bother me to this day. To this day. Because <laughs> if I ask you, obviously, I want you there. Yeah. If it, it doesn't matter who else is there. I'm fucking inviting you, bro. There. I want you there. You know what? You can bring a plus one if you Facts. want to feel comfortable. So I would say my second pet peeve would be. You gotta have three. Let's go with two one. each. I went with two. You I'm go with two. I'm with the second one. I'm with the second one. So my second one would be. Damn, that's a good one. So you got a second one? Second pet peeve about women dating. 
Right. Do you want to go with the bitches be crazy clip before we get into your guys' yeah, second? You guys can think. Yeah, we could think about our joint because then these might give me. Got your back, Jack. Bitches, bitches be crazy. crazy. I got your back. Where you get that bitches from? I got your back, Jack. I like that. Bitches be crazy. That's from big. Uh, I can't tell you actually. Bitches be crazy. It's a show one. Got your back, Jack. I'll say. I'll like say it all. Yeah, right. I got one. I'm ready. After the, we'll do it after the. Uh, a a a a a a a a a a a a. Oh, they fighting. Oh, they fighting. Girl punches. Girl punches. Oh, she on the ground. They always grab the hair. They always do. This is, is this the baby fight? I thought this was the baby. First, uh, Danny Lee. Bro. Are you scared that you, you kind of have little dreads? I used to, I ain't gonna lie. I used to have an artist. She was a rapper. She looked just like her. Oh. Which one? There's a bunch of girls in there. The, the one that worked there with the, with the vest on. Oh, okay. The low cut. They all use strap horns. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally Pound she Town? Like, she looks like fresh. This is a Pound Town she exclusive. Like, hey, fresh. <laughs> Pound Town exclusive. She got her hair grab. This look like the baby versus Danny Lee brother. This is horrible. This is ridiculous. Shit like this women make black women look bad. Annoying. We talked about that. This is why black women be wearing suits and shit now, because they look <laughs> like <laughs> this. <laughs> yep. Going down on 16th and Kroger's. What that said? Who knows? 16th oh, and Kroger's. <laughs> you I'm guys are Googling look. where this is. I'm going to Google that shit. That could be literally any city. All right, well, they have masks on, so this is during Corona, so this is recent. She disabled. I love how you guys are so unfazed by this. You're on your phones like, oh, I've seen this so often in my life. Yeah, it's like regular, <laughs> like, bro. It's white people are like, whoa. Kroger Street, so Kroger Street is Anaheim, California. But they wasn't here messing with her Anaheim? sister, bullying her yep. sister, her South, sister especially. And she Kroger worked here Street. with her. All so I know about Anaheim home, is Mighty Ducks. She pulled up trying to fight, but got I her ass Mighty beat Ducks. Ducks. Mighty Ducks is the best movie of all. Best kids movie. Definitely top 10. Wow. Yes. I got to put it in the top 10. I'm going to my babies in the car. She got her babies in the car. <laughs> I look old. All right. I look old. All right. Fat, she got her babies in the car. <laughs> you ever they noticed down south, they don't say car. They say car. Yo, they why didn't you tell me my car. eyes don't look open? They do Your look eyes open. are never open. <laughs> they real shit. They do look closed like a motherfucker. <laughs> Theo needs a nap. Someone please take this man home to get a nap. My, <laughs> eyes, my eyes open. Your eyes open, bro. My right eye is always lower than my left eye. I didn't know this until... The whore pointed yeah. out to me. She wanted to make yeah, sure I was fully. <laughs> you are fat, bro. Right, I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> trying to get back at me. You called me yeah. fat last episode. You trying to get back at me, bitch. I've been. On, you called me bitch last episode. Too. I was on. He's a little bitch. I've been on the Peloton recently, so uh, shut up. Don't get uh too too excited about yourself. You know what I mean? I love it. Turn so, your fucking turn your fucking phone sideways because Doce on the line. You know what I'm saying? See me. Fat I'm here. Boy. Show. What is the future of the show? Like, what do you want next? Um, so a, a tan sweater. The future is seeing me morning show. Um, we're actually getting ready to expand into what? Um, the Caribbean. So I got some property that I've been looking at for the last couple of years. Hold on, my man Sammy on there right now. <laughs> Sipping with Sipping Sammy. With fucking Sammy. I in our studios. I hey, he's leaving and he's going to Jamaica, bro. Who? This guy right here. I'm going to make so, too. Fuck it, we are. So I've been look I've been looking at some some um Crab. I've been you looking at some, some property. In Jamaica? In uh not Jamaica, but St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia. Okay. You know, that area. Be um, dark as fuck there, bro. It's amazing though. The vibe is crazy. I've been looking at some property there, and that's where I actually plan on um moving to. Wait, who? Like really? Yeah. Damn. That was where my dude Purple came from. That's hard. So, I know a guy in the military. We called him Purple because he was so dark. To LA. Yeah. He's from St. Louis. They, they don't have no independent radio. Mm. So, so, so. In the Caribbean. Let me ask you that. Is, is that your end game, though? Like radio? Like, is, is radio where you want to be? Like, I'm, I'm saying, like, like, how Sway is and shit. Is that where you're trying to be? Um, or 
no, Cosmic Kev. My or end game, my end game is Funk more Flex. like um, I'm a bridge. Okay, you he sounds understand? just like Sammy. Like I'm a bridge between <laughs> a lot of people. That's the exact answer Sammy gave. For the exact answer. <laughs> Seriously, you know he I said, mean? "I want to be a bridge." That's, I, that's I think what I, I am. like literally the same answer. That's what I am. I'm a bridge. I, I <laughs> like I have so many, so many clients. Um, you know that I just pave a way for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nah, I know the same no answer. Shit. I know what it takes. I know what you need. Um, and I'm not going to benefit for it. I need to come up the Glock aware. So I keep it. I keep it open for those people. The no. fr- I, I want to be the first white guy Glock wear. Oh my god! So back to- you won't <laughs> be, man. I'm gonna land on the fucking Case. moon, bro. Yo, let me. Let me can I say it. something? Can I say something real fast? Go ahead. Can, can I give a shout out real quick? Yeah, no, we know we gonna have that. Hold that. Oh, alright, I'm gonna hold, hold that. that. You know, Promotion no, no, at the end. Hold that. Yeah, hold that. But hold that. Though. As far as like this whole, you know, my purpose and thing, I think I'm just a vessel. You know what I'm saying? I f- like I, that's I, what I am. That's all I am. Uh-huh. I'm nothing else more than a goddamn vessel. Mm-hmm. If you call me anything else, I'm probably going to be offended. He's I am vessel. nothing but a vessel. He's I should have introduced you as a vessel then. I mean, no, I'm the host of the show. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I mean, wait, so, so, no, real shit, man. We ain't never asked these questions. I understand we got a guest, but you ask know, we, don't, we don't never get a chance to talk amongst each other. Like, we always got a guest. So, I'm going to ask you some fucking questions, man. I got a question for you. What's your motherfucking name going? Do you want to still work a nine to five or do you want to? Absolutely. Who the fuck wants to work? So, so we, ugh, go ahead. So, so, what's your end goal? Mm. See, me and I can't talk. Ash, I, we had a very serious talk about the same thing last night. Mm. Damn, my I, universe worked crazy. Man. I can't say exactly what we talked about, but let's say the end goal. Can. Obviously, if this were to become a, my nine to five and I could do this as a living, I would be happier every day. If you can make $15 an hour doing this every no, day, would you do it? I couldn't afford it. <laughs> no. Yo, you know what's crazy? He said, you no, what's I crazy? could, though. That's crazy. You know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you this, right? I have a house. I'm with kids. I'm going to tell you this. I never phone. It's fucking possible. I'm going to tell you this. Look at this, right? You take $266 Mm -hmm. a day, right? Is that what you make a clock wear? No. That's (laughs) not what I make a clock wear. I make about $185, maybe $200 a day, Uh right? But... That's right, not from Glock Glockwork. No, that's just from say, that's just Network Eight. Like that's just what I do. See uh-huh. me more in the show, Chris May. But what I'm saying is, if you can make 150 to 180 a day, you're fine. I'm not against it. Wait, you're at seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year. You can make that. Um, Y'all can make that a day. Yeah, I know. We got to get Justin on board. Me, you can promote make us that a day. <laughs> Yeah, that could be made. I, I, I don't promote if I'm not on it. It's like no, it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give no, us I money. Like that sometimes. Takes, I ain't got no money. Two six. No, I'm saying other people out there. Okay. It's like two sixty four a day is a hundred thousand dollars a year. Hey, Kravis, the teddy bear. Get us some money. I'm, yo, no, 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 no. Do me a favor though. Pull the mic. Up. Oh yeah. All right. Pull it up because that shit's so flexible. You could just do it. All right. Can I say something real fast? The Network Eight, right, is my company. Right. Easy. We've been running for the last two and a half years. The mm-hmm. network here. If you're an artist, if you're a business owner, we're nothing but an idea think tank. Mm-hmm. That's all we are. We are a think tank. People call me literally every single day to run ideas past me. Mm-hmm. Just ideas. Ideas. Just ideas. Just ideas. We are an idea think tank. We're not a business think tank. We're not going to take ten thousand out the bank right away and just give you ten thousand dollars. No, we are an idea think tank. So you just say none of that's stupid. <laughs> we take your ideas and we help you cultivate those ideas into businesses. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what we do at the Network Eight. So the if Network you Eight at the Network Eight, the Network Eight, the Network Eight, like a eight, like a number eight, like the old Kobe Bryant eight. Infinite. Okay. It's infinite. Okay. We'll live forever. We're going to live forever. That's what we. That's what I do. At the end of the day, the cab driver has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> now we can talk about some real shit. It's like, no. At the end of the day, that's what, that's, what, that's what I do at the Network 8. I take your ideas and I cultivate those motherfuckers. My man said drop the link. Who are you talking to? 
I don't know what you're talking about. What, what type of link? About? Yeah, what type of link are you talking about, bro? Are you talking about like a podcast link? My man got a lot of shit going on too. You know what I'm saying? This is I got I'm with Mr. Everybody and a nigga that gets shit done. So you know what I'm saying? Who are you talking we about? Yeah. Who are you talking about, man? You like are, we who are you talking about? Like when I when I tell you Theo, when I tell you, um, it's a way, right? It's a way. To not work a nine to five. I haven't worked a nine to five in the last seven years. I'm gonna keep it G, bro. It's uh, a way to not work a nine to five. And you know it. Like, yeah, I was about to say, you like, you know like the formula, usually, bro. Naturally, I used to, go, I usually go, I'm gonna keep you it know. G. I usually go eight months without a nine to five, and then I pick up something just to accumulate this revenue. Dur- I know. Boom. During then the slow time. In, yeah, then jump yep. back in it. And then you, ha ha. I know. I, know, I, I just, holla at you. I know the game. Honestly, from day one, from the day right. I went homeless trying to chase this shit. Mm hmm. Every year, every six months, I gradually learn something new to keep me afloat. Like, where I don't go to, like, my parents. They'll help me with bills or something. Or if I even come to my homies. Like, say if I go broke from doing X, Y, Z or tapping into this. Uh, that's what networks and, and building. Like, when people say, like, your credit and all that type shit is better mm-hmm. than money, relationships is better than money. Relationships is what lasts you, bro. Exactly. Because if I go broke spending my last and my savings on this, that, and the third, I got homies that'll never make sure I starve. Or I got homies that believe in me so much in my visions, and they see everything Facts. I do, and they see what I'm investing in. They be like, "Yo, Facts. you never go like I never starve. I I can I won't go a week starving without gas and nothing. Just be off the relationships and people knowing that I'll go a million miles an hour for them. Yeah, you know what I mean. I tell you this: it's people out here that you could probably test to this, and you could probably test to this. It's people that won't let you fall. Fall at all. You understand what I'm saying? So when you get to a point where the people around you won't let you fall, that should be everything to keep Damn you going. Ray. I don't need money. I don't need opportunity because I that's what I I create opportunity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I don't need opportunity. I need people around me. That's going to understand that what I'm doing is not for me, mm-hmm. number one. Because if I wanted to do it for me, I would have been done it for me. I got I got music out the wazoo that I could just throw out there. No, that's a fact. That I could just be like, you know what? Figure the whole R&B world. I'm going to take over this stuff. But I don't do that. Mm-hmm. Because everybody has their purpose. Everybody's purpose isn't music, even though you can make music. Everybody's purpose is in radio because you have a good personality. Yo, you really gotta find like time out. You really have to find your purpose. You find. And and I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. You know one thing I learned about just like like life. Come on, man, with these loud ass, cold ass nuggets. (laughs) You got nuggets. Let me get one. Yo, man, them nasty ass nuggets nuggets. from McDonald's. I love love McDonald's nuggets. These the worst nuggets you could ever get from anywhere. You a good man. I like you. This must be. I don't want nothing. See, imagine if I made my whole personality about nuggets. Yeah, you know I'm saying they, they must be from, from, from nuggets. Them other guys, it's shit like that. I don't eat nuggets from them. I love them. Look at them, Jones. Nuggets. They like they like it was, cardboard. It was Amazing. like five dollars for ten of these motherfuckers. They used Facts. to be a dollar. Facts. I'm cool off the nuggets. It was a dollar for four. I'm cool off the nuggets. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to look at a nugget. You don't want to listen to a nugget. You don't want to do anything you with eat a nugget. It. <laughs> at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you mean, I mean, I'd rather eat nuggets from um like Wendy's Man. or Chick Fil A. And they too small. No, they're 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 actually like chicken. Look how big this is. You know what that is? A piece of cardboard. Who cares? What the fuck are you eating cardboard Fucking for? Amazing. It's called cool teddy bear. Teddy bear. Crabs. He has no idea what he got into. Does he? Teddy, Does he? I'm here with a teddy bear and a cab driver. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah, I'm, get put, a, I'm put the now. Let Joe's be comfortable with shit. Yo, yo, get my headphones from out of there, Joe. They might get swallowed. I know they're gonna get swallowed yeah, in yeah, there, yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah, put my headphones out of there. Now I'm putting yeah, this yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, what's and I'm wrong to, with Teddy Bear Kravitz, man? I'm here. I'm around. That's not even chicken. Let's get your guys' I second biggest pet peeve. Like, it's not chicken. And I guess to see that. It's not chicken. Oh, look at Gwen. Let's get into our second biggest pet peeve. I've already yeah. done my second biggest pet peeve. What's your um, second biggest pet peeve about women? My second biggest pet peeve about yeah, women. Um, they're going to hate me for this, honestly. 
Because you know how you got a woman and you, and you like her, and you like her just for who she is, right? Uh-huh. And I just be like telling her, like, yo, you don't need makeup, you don't need all that extra shit. And, and they be like, well, you don't know what they do. Like, well, this is for my own. It's for the I shit. get it. I get it. It's for your own joint, but like, what is it that, like, all right, mm. you know what? I ain't even going, that ain't even pet peeve. You know what? You're right. That's for your own joint. Because how am I to tell you what makes you happy? You got it. Facts. You won. I ain't got a second one. I just, just just don't like when they don't know what they they want to eat. Give me <laughs> give me give me three choices, and I'll pick from the three choices you give me because you ain't gonna like my choice. I'll go get a bag of chips. Third one for me, not motivated to do anything. Oh, mm. that's my John too. Oh no, my you know my second pet peeve. I can was, feel that. My that second pet peeve was I'm sorry, working too much, like pitting too much. Pitting. Working too. Putting too much time into that. a nine to five. Putting too much time into, but granted, you can't tell people. Everybody not like us. Everybody is not going to be like entrepreneur and want to do shit. Right? Yeah, they're mm-hmm. not going to. They're not going to want to do that. They're not going to want to be an entrepreneur. They're not going to want to do all that extra shit. But I don't like the fact that uh, like you could really get up and I don't give a fuck right now. You could actually get up and go work for another person's dream of what they seem going to happen without you wanting to like. F- Find something that like that you want to do to make your own money and be your own boss. Some people don't like that pressure though. Everybody, it's not the pressure. It's the pressure, bro. It's not the pressure. So the time, it's the effort. It's not the time. It's not the effort. It's not the pressure. It's the protocol. So you gotta look at look at what it takes. God bless right? you. Is that a sneeze or a cough? I, I cracked my that. neck. Oh, uh, white shit. <laughs> what? Look at the white look at the time. Shit. Right, it takes to develop your own shit. Right, it, as far as what? Look at the time. Look at the sacrifice. A lot of people aren't in position to take that time or sacrifice the thing that they need to sacrifice in order to do certain shit. I get what you're saying, but right. And I can't I can't fault people for that. No, listen, no. You gotta also put it into position that we talk about like purpose and whatnot. Some women when you get into a relationship with them, some women don't don't understand their purpose where they are in life. Maybe, look, look, I'm just saying this. Right. Do you really feel like anybody, I'm asking all of y'all, uh-huh. even y'all, do you really feel like we pit on this earth, right? To to just work for somebody else else's dream. Now somebody got to do it, but do you really feel like? So I can't be with somebody that doesn't have a purpose or feel like they don't have a purpose. Ninety three percent of the world works for seven percent. I'm trying to be that seven percent. They work right. for that. Fuck it. So with your question, yo, go give me a beer. Everybody literally. <laughs> Ninety three percent of people oh, they getting real in here. Oh. are going to work mm-hmm. for somebody. All right, so right, on. ten of that ninety three percent, ten minutes like in the hindsight of things, ten minuscule people out of millions and hundreds of millions of people work for me. Mm-hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? That ain't shit. Right. But they feel in the midst of that number, working for CME, working for the network eight, they feel like they matter, like they're a hundred percent. That's mm-hmm. the difference. That's where the difference comes in at. Uh, so, so, so you so can work somewhere so and saying, be one of a million. So basically you're saying it's the position of where you work at, basically. Not the position, but how that that position makes place you feel? makes you feel. How that position not, makes you feel? Not, not the position. No, but the it, place. It, it wouldn't be the place though. Be, like, like if it's you, the if place. You, it's not the position. I don't know. Because you could be a store associate and feel the same way a boss of that building should feel. I feel like Chick Fil A workers feel like the manager at McDonald's. I agree with that. I they, believe that. I feel like they're they're As happier. A, as a store associate, as a fucking drive through worker, mm. I would rather work at Chick Fil A than McDonald's. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I, by I just, far, quick shit because I'm I am on live. Somebody asked me what the conversation was about, and I'm just gonna break it down to them real quick. We were talking about our pet peeves with women, 
um, that we deal with and whatnot. Right. And where they stand, like where our pet peeves is. And one of mine was with just like somebody that just wants to go work for somebody. That's just like like they don't have Everybody's ambition for themselves. But granted, and I understand, I understand it, I understand it, I understand it, and, and that's what I started to realize as I like got older with yep. with these women. And mm-hmm. everybody's not built to do what you're you're here to do. Fact. So if y'all can't come to a common agreement, y'all shouldn't be together. And when I say that, it, like I can lay you to death, but at some point in time in the life, if we don't like come to these these. Like these issues right here, we don't come in and make it a thing, mm-hmm. and I think that's a problem with like women too. Like with communication, sometimes they can't communicate. They don't about what they want because they don't. It's not their job to communicate what they want. De- no, it's not their job to determine what it is they need. It's not they. Oh, wait a minute. What oh, you no. want is not always I what get you that. need. I get that. I get that. I get that 100%. It's not their Hold job on. to determine what they need. No, how do you from no, you? No, no, no. Okay, from me. From you. It's not their job to determine it's what they need. It's not their job. Nah, they can I, have their idea. Nah, bro. No. But it's not their job no. to determine what they need from nah, you. Nah, fuck that. It is their job to determine what they need from you. But no, what, if no. what, you, what if what they need, you can't provide? Then that's not the person for you. That's not true. How? Tell me what they need from you if you can't provide certain things that they need from you. In 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 this part of time in our lives, right. we not twenty one, we not twenty two. We what are I need, fucking adults. Like what I need. Well, listen. Well, most people need doesn't is a want. It's, it's never no no. Most people what need most is people never need, a want. No, what most people need is never a want. A want. It's never t- a want. I'm gonna bro. tell you why. Because what they want is used well. I'm going to tell you this. What a person needs right now, they already have. Mm. Everything they want comes from an extension of a person. You have what you need right now to sustain who once you needs, are. Talking about, talking about once and needs is different. Needs is we need toilet paper in the bathroom. You once need is, companionship though want, at the same time. No, no, look, no, no, no. Hear, That's hear, a need. No, hear me out, hear me out. Wants is needs is we need toilet paper in the bathroom. You need companionship. Wants is I want cotton now instead of family dollar brand. But at the same time, you still need you need the toilet a, paper, right? And the need the grand source of things, you need companionship. I get that, but I think now, we should get more into wants and needs when we are on the CME morning show. Yo, he's trying to kick us off. Well, I just yo, it's crazy. It's crazy you say that, right? Uh huh. I talked to I talked to you know Toucan the myth the man the myth the legend, Toucan, and um, we have a situation ready now at mm-hmm. this moment as of last night at like one in the morning because mm-hmm. that's when I like finally was able to like sit down and talk. Um, we're ready for like a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Saturday morning situation, a CME morning show, Saturday special. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Featuring love and then what? Are you saying your first episode will be us? Yes. When will this be? Um, whatever Saturday you guys got available, bro. We are available. Well, I can speak for me, myself, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Theo's in there and shaking his dick right now. I don't really know what Saturday he's about. Are you saying like if we were to come on? If we want to come on this coming Saturday, we can come on. What's today? Uh, fuck the thirteenth of February. What, what Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday. If you want to come on this Saturday, we can make it happen. Theo, what are you doing this Saturday morning? Um, it's coming up. Yes. Waking up, hopefully. So, do you have any? He's saying that can they're going to start. Can we do it? Can we do a CME morning show hey, Saturday call special? Out of work, man. Fuck that. Can we do a CME morning tell show Saturday work, special man. with love and then what? Yes. Sunday? Sunday? This, this Saturday. coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Um, yeah, what day is that? The 19th? It's a Saturday. <laughs> yes, I think that's the 19th. I ain't even going to lie. I got, yeah. Just, just, just get me early. My daughter got a a, a, a daddy daughter dance. Let's do it. Yeah, we we well, got a, nine a.m. to I eleven a.m. I'll drink exactly. if you have to do a daddy daughter dance. I'll drink all the drinks that he would normally right, drink. drink. Everything for him because <laughs> hey, he's been on the show. Yeah, I'm sorry, babe. Hey, I was um, in lit too. Yeah, I got to smoke and, weed and everything on that. Show, <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the promotion aspect. Um, no, fuck all that. Thanks, so no. Kravitz. If you would like to promote anything, obviously your camera is right in front of you. 
right there. Just yes, 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 the yes, yes, yes. So you already know you can catch me, the host County Kravitz, aka the Chris Make Experience, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, nine a.m. to eleven a.m. on the CME Morning Show with my co-host Chef Work Eight, the Mix Goddess, Killer Kells. You know what I'm saying? Real ease. Um, Black Stands, my semi blogger. Um, coming up though, as an artist, mm-hmm. I got my song, my single, um, my baby, my ah. I put a lot of work into this. Mm-hmm. Stay solid. Drop in February twenty third, two thousand twenty two. It's a very vulnerable record, a very open record. And a very dope record that a lot of people will be able to feel, a lot of people will be able to relate to, mm-hmm. and a lot of people are definitely going to want to download and keep that on repeat. Um, and then also we got Spring Break with the 8. Spring Break with the motherfucking Spring 8. Spring Break with the 8. Tampa, Florida. Hit me up. That's all I'm going to say about that. So you're going to know. Theo Dolce. Yo, so you know, it's your boy Theo Doce, you know what I'm saying, representing mine to my own, as always. Um, yo, listen, man, we got a lot of things coming. Um, damn, it's like way too much to even like really get into, but uh, I'm going to get into it anyway, because I don't give a fuck. Hey, let's it's do time. it. Dig, hold on. I ain't even got enough beer. Can you, can you pop that open for me? Thank you, big guy. Um, Listen. Number one, I want to shout out Mind of My Own. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's, that's number one, Mind of My Own, the artists, everybody in Mind of My Own, you know what I mean? All the producers, you know what I'm saying? Johnny Relax, Murder Beats. I'm going to shout them out because we don't actually do that enough. Murder Beats, Johnny Relax, Third the Writer, Lex Level Productions, you know, Theo Doce, 100%. We in this joint. Um, uh, DAC, I'm sorry, uh, but I just want to shout out um, INR Studios, you know what I'm saying? I'm up here now, so... Um, Come up here for all your needs of whatever you need, you know. Uh, INR Studios, Love and Then What Podcast, if you need that. We got everything covered right now. Uh, we got a lot of things going on, man. Shout out to right now, we have a fucking art competition going on with these dope-ass fucking artists right now on the Mind of My Own page. So please check that out because that shit is about to pop, you know what I'm saying, for our music video. A lot of dope-ass artists. Uh... It's a few more things. I'm sorry, you know, you know don't, no, don't count, good. don't yeah, don't, don't don't cut me off, don't cut my <laughs> mic or none of that shit off, bro. Um, uh, but yeah, we just got a lot of things going on here up at INR Studios. So get with me, Theo Doce. Get with INR. Tap into love and then what? You know what I mean, shout out to my man County Kravitz, Glock Aware Radio. Um, every brand that's within mine of my own, man. I want to shout out to them because we have a lot. Just to give off a few, like Underground Legends, Sneaker Theater, uh, SLE Photography, um, The Beautiful Letdown, Philly Fro. It's a lot of shit. Applying pressure. It's too many. I don't want to, like, fuck up or butcher <laughs> nobody else's shit and all that right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to G's with her sneaker line and all that. But it's just so much shit right now that I want to promote. And, I, and I'm so mad that I can't think of everything right now because... All these opportunities right now is what we need as far as to push our culture forward, period. You know what I'm saying? So um, there's so many more I want to shout out that I can't think of at the moment. But, you mean, shout out to the ones that I did shout out. And let's make 2022 our year. You know what I'm saying? Not just mine, our. Everybody, if you know somebody, man, build them relationships and take them farther because relationships are better than money sometimes. So, well, most times. So, Build these relationships. Shout out to everybody I shouted out. And if you know somebody, send them through because you know, as of right now, loving them with us taking new artists to play your music after our shows Thanks. go off. So hit us up so we can get this shit rolling. You feel me? You know what I mean? Theo Doce tapping out. Mind my own. You know, you know what I'm saying? Trying to. So again, we have new artists that are coming on every day. We're going to play the music at the end of the episode. Uh, we'll get into who's going to be playing today. But uh, um, so upcoming guests, let's go with this. Uh, coming up next is Chip and Sip, which I was just on their podcast. Amazing. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to head on. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And Sip. After that, Meech. We're going to have Abdul back, which he was our episode Storm, 50. Stormy P. Stormy P. Oh, uh, he episode 69? Hey, Stormy P. Episode, no. Um, so 60. 
I think it actually might be Abdul for 69. No, no, we gotta get somebody else with his little ass. No. <laughs> 69. That's, that's, I fuck with that's, you. That gotta be a freak. Yeah, it episode. gotta be somebody. Nah, no, uh, we went through a whole relax, thing with that. Relax, but anyway, relax, um, relax, be a freak answer relax, that. Philly Fro's coming on. And uh, I have a bunch of messages on my. Philly I have like 50 Fro. messages that I haven't been able I didn't to check. I didn't even know that nigga was so coming we're gonna have on. A, yeah, he's coming on. Um, so again, I want to pr- promote Stay Salt, See Me Morning Show. Obviously, Mind My Own, Theo Dolce. Um, so this week, taking us out is the Ellis Gamer with his song, The Program. Check out Ellis his song. Ellis Gamer. Shout out to Ellis Gamer. Yeah. Mm, sounds like techno almost. Theo, what do you think? What does it sound like? Techno? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> it's like, no, but I'm going to let him rock. I got to let it rock. Let I go. can't just... All they ever do is flex. Hey. I cast them checks, earn respect, Boy, make it move. Be Represent kidding. the rejects, your girls impress. No cap, that's just how I grew. Gotta keep it fresh to from? death. They love my drip, so bitch, just watch my shoes. Philly? He's a Philly guy. Is he not, he's not no Delaware County in there? It says Philly on the flex. Flex. I cast them checks, earn respect. At the Ellis Gamer on Instagram, no, no, check him out. Man. Rejects, your girls impress. No cap, that's just how I grew. Gotta keep it fresh to death. They love my drip, so bitch, just watch my shoes. Is he a culture? Press and stress. No contest, prepare to lose. Kicking in the background, hit him with a rap. Thank you for watching that video on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe to this video, share it with your friends, follow us at Love and Them One on Instagram, and go to theloveandthemone.com. New full episodes every Tuesday, highlights throughout the week, and previews on Sundays, full audio every Monday. What he said. <laughs>